do you know? <laughs> well, not like on my ass, but like the ab joint. Oh, BBL do no. Oh, BBL do no. You want to get your abs done? No, no, no. no. Oh, shit. BBL, BBL do no. Oh, can you imagine I invented BBL that? BBL do no. Before getting my mama house, I'd be crazy, right? Yeah, I'd be crazy. Not shit. really. You I just have a nice spot with abs. <laughs> <Just> with abs. <laughs> BBL do no. Now, you, saw, you saw that trend everybody doing the, the shaping? The, the shape in your stomach. Mm -hmm. Has anybody hit you up to do that for you? What do you mean shape? Like the, the sculpting. The sculpting. The body oh, sculpting. Oh, for, for after the bitches get the BBL? You know how people, you're a celebrity, so they hit you up with free shit. Has any, mm -hmm. a body sculptor hit you up? Like 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 with the wood? Whoa. Like Whoa. with the wood thing? No, no, it's, it's like a wood thing. They put it on your stomach. Ugh. They like shape it. You put the wood on your stomach. No, like, that's for they put the wood on your that's, stomach. That's, that's for cookies. It's called prostitution. <laughs> <laughs> he said, <laughs> he said that's for cookies. <laughs> That's called prostitution. It's crazy. <laughs> now that sounds crazy. No, nobody has hit me up for that. But I heard it hurts. After 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 you get the, the surgery. Put the wood on your stomach. That's called prostitution. I used to. I used to. Oh, we started? Yeah, we done. Oh, <laughs> yeah. shit. Oh, why am I quiet, kid? All right, let's go. <laughs> FMW, we in this, man. We, FMW episode, yeah. Oh, we, we did start? Been, it's rolling start. It been rolling. Rolling pun. I, I we, here, I, we, I, I, we here. We done. We here. We here. Yeah, but no, nobody has hit me up for that. But, yeah, would, yeah. but would you guys do it? No, somebody hit me up. That's why I was laughing. Yeah. Somebody hit you up for the sculpting. Uh, <laughs> what you say? I posted on my page too. Did she, she <laughs> like, can you post this on my page? It's a homegirl. And I posted it. And she's like, I'll do it for you. I was like, hell no. Uh, you gonna go get sculpted? A body sculpted. She was like shaping a stomach. I don't think that worked though. Oh uh, hell no. Bro, that's, bro, that's I'm the bro, bro, bro. If I'm you haven't came to us randomly and was like, hey bro, I got this person. I do it with you. everything. Not, 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 not with the sculpt. I think body sculpting is for when you're losing weight and yeah. it's like shaping your stomach while you're losing. Oh, because of the loose skin. Type shit. Oh, okay, 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 okay. It okay. don't make no sense if I'm not losing. What the fuck? Hey, do you, you, do you, you think, just pushing hey, it to the back. Hey, do you think, hey, but do you think like, obviously like right now, one of the biggest things is him get Drake having his fake abs, right? Do you think like in the ghetto, you think that's like looked down upon if somebody were to do that? Like you spend all the money, like, like, Obviously, even the BBL shit, like, it's cool until you're mad at the bitch, right? Like, man, bitch fucking your fake ass ass, right? But, like... I wouldn't say that. No, I think... There's people that do I that. I think it's one of them things, bro, like, a lot of people can't afford it, so they rather clown it. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Because, like, when you get your teeth done, niggas be like, oh, you got, you got fake ass teeth. But they look beautiful. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like, <laughs> like, why would you clown somebody for fake teeth? Unless it look, like, too big. But Are you saying, are you, I feel like this is coming from, like, an inner spot where they clown you for yeah, he's, fake he's speaking teeth. from a person. Nigga, yeah, yeah. when I got my teeth done, everybody's like, oh, you got your fake ass teeth. Me? Ooh, that was me. He was the main person. <laughs> now look at this nigga. All Chompers edition. This yeah, up. yeah. What about, what about you? Do you think that'd be weird? Yeah. Nigga, they do the same shit. Oh, you got your fake ass hair. They but can, they just they say clown step and hairline say, and shit. And when they just say me and AD were like, fuck it, let's go get the abs done. Would you come up here and just cook? Oh, he's for sure gonna clown. I'm cooking. They cooking yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, but it's just funny. I would, but it's just just because that's who we are, though. We go naturally. No, 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 no. But what I'm saying But I ain't you, gonna look down on you. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. you got a light bulb, my nigga. Like, if you, cause it's hard for nigga, some people to come here looking like Homelander and shit. Yeah, it's not, it's not that we, it's not that we judging you. It's just, we're going to clown you regardless. Yeah, we, yeah. No, no, no. You can come I in think, here and go skinny, think, buff, I think, all that, we still going to clown you. I think I think clowning is normal. I think when yeah. the judge, that's what I'm saying, like in the ghetto, they'll judge you. But for a simple fact that like it's not a common thing, so they'll be like. So let me ask you a question. In the ghetto, they'll judge you, but does it matter? No. no. So there it is. In the ghetto, they're going to judge you about everything. Do what makes you happy. Do you got to go back to the ghetto? Do no. <laughs> Let's go get some abs. Do what makes you happy, man, at the end of the day. You know hey, the homie, the homie got that shit. Dabs. Yes, nigga. You know him. He got that shit. He was like, bro, it's the best money I ever spent in my life. You know you you know him. Why you didn't tell me? I don't know him. You do know him, nigga. Who the you fuck is that guy? The Drake surgery? The app? The Drake? We calling it the Drake now. That's fucked That's up. Fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's fucked up, oh. I mean. Oh, Who? Can I see? Can I see? Can I, I, I see? Can you, I wouldn't, see? you wouldn't know. But I mean, it, it is kind of obvious, like, you go from being like, I don't know, like, oh, yeah. you know, Fl flubby, flat, like, and then six pack out the blue. And bro be at, <laughs> he be at every every function with his shirt off now. Johnny really? Blaze was the first girl I saw that had that shit. Johnny who? Johnny Blaze, the girl. With a six pack? You ain't never saw it? Man, that shit look uh, immaculate on the women. Well, she kind of big though, so that shit's stupid and it's, if and it's big. still show. Yeah. She's big, but it still look like a six pack. Like, she ain't big, I gonna say she big, she thick. But it looked like six pack. But she was smaller when she got the surgery done. Mm. Hey, are they making your stomach small while they do that? Nope. Like, like, I like, like, like the gas. What is that shit called? 
gastric bypass. Gastric yeah, yeah. Bypass. I think yeah. they are removing some fat, but they also like putting it to where it looks it's like lipo, it's and then they're like making it look like you. Man, but you, you, you approve, you approve for that shit. Yeah, but I don't want that, bro. That's that, I, I could, bro. I lost fucking a gang of weight before. I could do it. I have a homegirl that did that, and I was like, no, I don't think, and, and 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 fucking, she don't eat the same. I don't think you could. I think you gotta be a certain. Of course, you strong. don't eat the same. The gastric nigga. thing is, is because they cut like your stomach. That's down. why. And if you could tell we're all eating, and she just right there, like she look, she yeah, my, my cousin she got that. Like a you, pizza. Yeah, you need that. My cousin like got that. Like they shrink shit. your stomach, bro. So you. I, did, I I just said I know what it does, fool. They remove some. Of your but, but but I'm saying what you could tell like the little side effects of like. What's the side effect? We're losing weight and being more, more healthy, <laughs> not getting diabetes. My cousin lost hella weight. So no, you think, yeah, you think she's sitting there doing that shit? No, I'm thinking I she's think sitting there shit. like, damn, I want another one, but if I do, I might throw it. No, no, you don't even have the urge to like. You don't have the urge to eat. You don't have the urge. Like, you get, you get full fast and you don't have that's, the urge. That's a stomach thing, right? Like, there are your stomachs. But mentally, you know that you want more than one pizza. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So I, that, that's what I'm saying. Maybe like, in your brain. Bro, oh my God, bro. See, you can't even. That's why on Zen, that's why you almost died, bitch. <laughs> bitch. Because you don't know how to fucking go to the well, doctor. You need to stop eating this much pizza. Tell your brain to stop. Hey, you live by yourself. What do you eat mostly? Because do you cook for yourself? Or you I know? definitely do not cook for myself. So you eat a lot of fast food? I eat a lot of fucking like pollo loco, like chicken with like. You chicken. work there and you still can't stop eating there? The pollo loco is fire. <laughs> pollo loco. Addicted. Addicted. <laughs> They're like, dude, no, you don't work here anymore. So you go get a I see one pop. So just cream one. cilantro. <laughs> hey, so that nigga go in there and get a 10 piece within the refrigerator. Damn. That is crazy. A 10 piece? Well, what, how you eat then? I got a pollo ball. Pollo ball, double chicken, avocado. I've never had a pollo how ball. could you work there and then still eat that shit to the Because it's, it's basic food, it's rice, chicken, and, and beans. But so, like, working there, did you see shit? You was like, ugh, this shit nasty. For sure. So why saying. would you still eat it? Do you still eat McDonald's? Yeah, no. I just Every so. once in a while. I we just, we just, I ain't eat none. Shit. Bro, see y'all. Bro, bro, why you why almost you went blind one because of alcohol. Did I, did I eat no, McDonald's today? Shut the fuck up. Hold on, hold on. Last week or today, but hold up. before that, you Hey, hey. I didn't eat today. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You almost went blind because of alcohol. Yeah. You still drink it. Wait, what? Wait, what? Did I know that story? You went blind because of alcohol? No. You oh. said you were I driving. I said I had blind no. vision. That's not that's what you said. That's because high blood pressure. No, that's not what you said. You said you were driving one night. Bro, you had high blood pressure driving. You almost you was going to start going blind. How do you think? Golly. How do you think I found out? <laughs> <laughs> that was like you on the bike. <laughs> you think I had high blood pressure. No, hey. no, no. You came the next day. No, two days later, bro. you told us. You said, bro, I was driving from a long night, uh -huh. which you shouldn't be driving and drinking, but it's okay. As for, you, you learned your lesson, right? I learned my lesson. Okay, and you said you were driving, and you said <laughs> the road started getting blurry. And he said that you were like, wait, I'm not sleepy, though. That's, and not, that's just and gonna be a drug. He went to the doctor. No, no, no. no. He went to the doctor, yeah. and, and he said he wasn't drunk. He was drinking, but he wasn't drunk. And it, for they said that the alcohol makes his high blood pressure go up. <laughs> that's why he stopped drinking every day at the end of the day, every week. And then what happened? Caffeine. And he started drinking Caffeine again. and alcohol raises your blood pressure. But at the time, I didn't know I had high blood pressure. <laughs> So I'm driving and my I'm like this. I'm like, why can't I see the signs like this and shit? <laughs> right, why can't yeah. I see this shit like that? And when I went, that's what they was asking me. That's when your shit is getting like when your shit is super high, like reaching stroke levels and shit. And when you, you start know. raising, then you can yeah, you can pass out. But you, did you, you know, not know that? Stroke blurred. levels is crazy. I knew he was about to have a stroke. Yeah, <laughs> I'm about to have a stroke is wild, dog. <laughs> I mean, I did. And you still drinking right now. High blood pressure. Nigga, I go to the doctor all the time. My shit is, like, good. Why you just can't let it go, bro? Just let liquor go. I just talked to you this morning. One last time I drank. I'm you both said we was doing I'm good. I'm saying, why you just can't let it go, at, period? I'm cool. Bro, I haven't been drinking. Okay, but why you just can't let it go, period, is what I'm saying. Bro, I'm... Then we should have done nothing. I mean, because if, if he did, he don't got to so. let it go. He can drink occasionally. That's what I'm saying. Like, the way that I used to do it, I'm, I would never go back to that. Never. Yeah, that was wild. You did that last week. <laughs> Bro, I haven't been drinking like that. <laughs> he was just at Power 106 show going crazy. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What Power 106 show? That's the After Dark one. show he got booted off of. The one. Y'all drink more than I did. <laughs> <laughs> That is why. Damn. <laughs> but yeah, he got booted off. He still went on stage. Do you ever miss it? Like, like damn, I could have been on this shit. Do you have that ever crossed your mind? Nah, because I see them like 
I'll, I'll see them Tuesday mornings because we film the pod, right? right. And, be and, and then and then yeah, or 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 they'll be like stressed about some shit, okay. and I'll be over there like, all right. It's the more it's the mornings though. <laughs> but if you didn't have like your comedy thing that's doing very good, would you be like, you know what, I could do this? Because I feel like it's overloaded. You was to do everything. It's I'm overloaded much. right now. I got like thirty million things. Uh, yeah, bro. Because waking up in the morning is is is, is it's hard for you. You know what? I'm a morning person, but I'm not a 4 a.m. morning person. There's there's two different types of morning persons. There's my homies that I know can wake up, have go to sleep at 1 a.m. and wake up at 4. That's me. And 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 fucking go to work and do construction. I'm just not built like that, to be honest. Yeah, you built kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you produce music. <laughs> I feel you, dog. Getting up for work is wild. I did uh, that shit for a minute. I ain't gonna lie. That waking oh, up in the morning. in the morning is crazy. That is crazy. Especially if you're a night owl, if you like be up late. But if you a nigga that go to sleep at eight, nine, which is none of us on. No. T real probably. Yeah, yeah, probably. He's a wobbler though. He's, most, a, he's, a, he's uh, a that old man right there. Most likely to go to sleep at eight or nine. Right there. Yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. No, I will. That's my bedtime. I might go get on the couch and get out of here. Yeah. Eight thirty. Fire oh, the it's like the movies, bro. After eight o'clock, now you go to the movies. It's too comfortable, nigga. Snooze. It's I'm, over. I'm not, nah, that's I'm not shit. looking at no movie theater at eight o'clock at night, nigga. I Why? am not going there. I love the movie theater. Seven o'clock is perfect for me. At, at the movies, I'm all yeah. 11, 12 o'clock. Yeah, bro, the movies is a vibe, bro. That's one thing I could do. Like, like if there was a I'm movie, 11 bro. Like right now, bro, I'm so excited for Planet of the Apes to come. No, I'm, I'm going tomorrow. I'm going tomorrow. Food, what? tomorrow. We should go together. Pause. What? Hey, man, oh. get some friends, man. What you say? <laughs> no, yeah, we should go together. Like, nigga, take your girl, nigga. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> no, no, you know what? Take your friends. Low, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That nigga lonely. Low, we should yeah. all go together. We should all go together. Like, I don't want to see that fucking movie. <laughs> yeah, she does. I have to wait till it come out. Do your girl want to see Planet of the Apes? Oh, so she doesn't. Fuck she don't want to see no movie. I'll make her go with me. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, let's go. Like, yeah, I'll relax. Get some popcorn, bitch. And <laughs> <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Right. Here you go, bitch. Recent pieces, bitch. <laughs> That's our thing every uh, every Thursday now. I take my daughter and my girl. We go watch a movie. Damn, your bills high. I think you said relax. Yeah, I, I, I got the AMC thing. That's a good oh. deal, by the way. You should get if you go to movies a lot. It's a good deal. You, you know pay, what? You pay twenty five dollars. Like, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. You pay twenty five dollars a month. Yeah. You can see unlimited movies a week. I mean, three movies a week. That's I like right. the shit. Wait, they wait twenty five dollars a month. And you, you can see three movies a week in any format. It's called a uh, um, AMC Stars. That is called bankruptcy. They're going down. I'm just kidding. Nah, that's nah, not. That's, that's, that's a good way to raise money, though. Cause. Yeah. No, but because oh, no, there's also, sometimes where you won't. Like, where you, you going? Know, oh, I mean, out? maybe don't tell me where you go. But you um, might not AMC. Even go. You but, may not go. You pay but, 25. Hey, a lot the of the spot. Uh, different companies got it too. Yeah. Rigo got it too. They got one. Rigo got it. Yeah. They but got the spot, it. um, fucking City Walk. I City Walk. When you go to City Walk, if you pay for the parking and then you buy the ticket, they like validate it, so you get your money back after a certain time. No, 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 That's whatever. No, listen. No, 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 I, I no, no, no. I go to the city movie. walk one. No, no, if basically, if it's a, after two hours, do you have to pay a little bit though? No, fool. When you go to the movies, if you go to AMC and you buy a ticket, it like it like for that should cover your ticket. No, no, city walk, right? Yeah, yeah. Bro, I go. I'm trying to tell you. Oh, oh we get it, bro. You go a lot, bro. God, hey, what was bro. That, uh, seafood spot we went to over there. Bubble gum shrimp. Bubble gum shrimp. Bubble gum mm -hmm. shrimp. Fire. Is you that the bubble gum shrimp by city walk? No, I've been to the Italian spot right when you get off the fucking. Right off the parking spot that looks like kind of like Willy Wonka ish. Mm. I've been there. Italian spot. Fire. Yeah, Buka, Buka de Pepo? Buka de Beppo. Yeah. Buka de Beppo, we give you large ass. That's what all the pictures on the wall? I don't yeah, know. Buka de Beppo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just gas. They be having that one? Yes. Yeah, Buka de Beppo. Fire. Yeah. They, be they give you big ass portions. They do, they that's do. how uh, Italian families serve their food anyway. They serve their shit big ass portions and shit. Man, we saw a picture of the ice cream because I went for my birthday, my little bitch for my birthday, and, and I saw a picture of the ice cream. And they're like a regular ice cream, like this. They bought out a big ass fucking shit. I was like, bro, I don't even eat ice cream no, like that. That place, they got fire ass salad there too. Gas. You been to that uh, chocolate shit over there? No, nah, I haven't. Okay, I don't got kids. For you, do, for you do like kids shit now in City Walk on. Huh? Uh, like chocolate factory? You're not going to chocolate factory. I hey, didn't hey, do kid shit. Period. Cause. I do kid shit. Period. Yeah. He's a nerd at heart, cuz. Yeah, 100%. But is he doing like the chocolate factory at City Walk by yourself? I don't go to City Walk. His grumpy nigga don't do nothing. <laughs> That's the, he's literally the Grinch. You don't go to City Walk. Walk. Hey, what do you do? What's fun to you, bro? Outside of like streaming and stuff. What's fun? Yeah, what's fun to you? Actually, like, outside of being a dad and streaming, like, 
to you. Outside to being a dad. Outside to being a dad. Fool, fool, stop repeating the question because you're trying to like. <laughs> like he asked me two, three different questions, so I, I gotta answer all of them. Well, you're no, old. It's one, it's one yes. question. One question. What's fun, for what fun to you? What's fun for you? What does T Rail do for fun? Um, I don't do nothing. I know he do. He sit around all day. I'm a Gemini. 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 Bro, why I you don't want to have fun, bro? But what's fun? Oh my God. Home goods. <laughs> no, <laughs> bitch, that's old. That's retirement. <laughs> I, I like to go. Out, I like to go out crazy. to. I like to go out to like little restaurants and go out to eat and stuff. That's fun to me. Other no, no, no. That, okay, okay, T Row. Cool. I don't, I don't need to do I will, nothing. I will no, say no, this. What like, y'all want me to do? Go to well, yeah, I mean, why, you, why you get mad? Can we ask you? What yeah, the yeah. yeah. Why you get mad? <laughs> you being sensitive, bro. It's, it's cool. You it don't do anything. Fun. You're boring. It was just a question. We didn't say you were boring. It's bro, just a question, bro. Bro, he's mad that we're asking him what he does. Nigga, like, like when, when you go to when you go to Q House. That's like a grub. Yeah, when the games, that's fun for you. That's a question, bro. That's like your getaway. But that's only that's during like two months, three months. So you only have fun doing football season. But what's what's actually fun though? <laughs> That's what we asking you. What's fun? But what's fun to y'all? Trying to figure be, out like what is fun? He said going to the movies. Is fun I go to the movies every week. Uh, like, that's what? regular shit though. Bro, yeah, but that's but he, fun. You don't do it. How's it regular? <laughs> bro, he's mad. Even like bro, even like riding my scooter to here, bro. I like doing that shit. Just it's you fun. You got your car. But it's still fun. <laughs> God damn. Bro, you took the Debbie fun. Downer. That shit is a grist, girl. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bro, I drove today though. You go out. Like that. You go out, you have your homies, you, you tag. You, you, go, you go bowling, bowling. you go to yeah, like, like, yeah. so like, I mean, I like all of that stuff, but you acting like you're supposed to do that every once in a while. No, that's not where it's Karaoke, playing dominoes. What? Like, that's like, what's your hobby? My hobby before I was in an accident was riding my dirt bikes and my four wheelers. Right, okay, there you go. That's fun. My hobbies is my uh, go karts and my <laughs> mini bikes. You can't do it. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. You like <laughs> Y'all didn't ask me. Y'all didn't ask me what I like. Dream about okay, that's what I'm saying. Like, what y'all do for fun? For like, every day? Love. No, I don't do that. Uh, what do I do for fun? It's funny. I wanna i I'm not really wanna know. Let's break it down now. <laughs> <laughs> now let's re let's really break it down. What do you do for fun? <laughs> I can tell you a lot of things that I do for fun. What do you do? One, I love tagging. Like, it's literally fun for me. I don't got to do it. It's, it. it doesn't cost no money. That's a crime. It's, it's, it's a crime. <laughs> but it's all right. It don't cost no money. It ain't yeah, it's going to cost you money. Oh, it costs you half of your life. You get caught. <laughs> hey, pun. Hey, pun. But it's fun. It's, yeah, fun, it's fun. It's fun. Like, nah, nah, nah. But that I was like, <laughs> okay. bowling, going bowling with the homies, going to ball up. A random ass, like, bro, me and my homies to this day, we go ball up at a random, like, park that's still lit up, like, in the night with all the right, homies. Right. We just go ball up, go kick it. Um, The movies, I love the movies. I go to the movies a deep as fuck with all my homies, all my homegirls, or even if it's a gang of couples. Like, right now, they're showing the fucking Star Wars shit all over again. So they're showing Star Wars episode one and shit, and the homies like, let's go. The only reason we didn't go is because we got there late. But if not, I would have gone. I would have been. Right, right. The only I one. mean, I'm just trying to think of some shit out the norm that's not regular. Nigga, all like, that stuff is fun. Like the rooftop, I, I all that. Already. Like the rooftop Puma event we went to. That I was cool. That's all that. we're talking about. What's fun to you? What's fun to you? That's all we, I was asking. So yeah, going to movies shit. is fun. Like, how do you unwind, bro, from everything? Like, you don't, you don't, you don't so like, I'll get to chill. Now is how I I'll unwind. How well, I'm just saying, that's what the fun is for. You need to clear your mind and shit. How do you clear your mind? How do I clear my mind? Yes, nigga. I ride in silence to home, to my house. Then, <laughs> that's, like, that's like psycho shit. And then, oh, that's serial man. killer shit. And then I go kill everybody. And then I go days. chill with my kids. And then I like streaming. All right, kids gone. Heather gone. I don't want to stream today. I want to have some fun. What are you doing? I'm going to call AD. <laughs> He's for sure gonna call me. Big <laughs> for sure. See what, like, what you doing, pops? Just see what y'all niggas doing. Or I'll go probably watch the game with SB or something. Go to a bar or some chill. That's fun. There you go. That's yeah. fun. That's all That's you had to say from the get go. That's not regular. Everybody but, don't do it. I don't you know, think everybody does. But you, that. But you generally do got mad because I don't know if that's fun. To, I don't. It's just. It's just chilling. because technically everything I'm is regular. Fun is Magic Mountain or Disneyland and shit like that. Like, bro, you can go to Top Golf. That's not. That's cool. Like you can have fun. No, that's the people's definite. What's the fun in you, nigga? Going to Costco Home Goods is fun to me. Like, yeah, right? yeah, that's I, I one like thing. That. I, I like, like that. DJing. That's one thing. I like going to movies. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'll, fun I, you, I'll sit there and play video games. Or I'll watch anime. Like, I that's like that shit. That's fun mm -hmm. to me. No, that's gay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 no, man, that's fun. She could have been like, man, I like chilling with the homies watching. Like, to some people, 
Like, AD doesn't watch a basketball game because it's fun. He watches it because he's on prize Because he got gambling addiction. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy? So you you watch the game without having to, like, you and SB probably don't talk about no 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 streaming, no what game, what got you. It's just literally watching the game Show and shooting what? the shit. Yeah. So that's fun. What we're saying is, like, something, like, when I'm chilling with my homies and clowning and kicking it and fucking, we're at a random spot and, and we're waiting behind somebody's fucking car trunk and just kicking it. That's fun to me, like it's me and my homie shooting. So that's fun to you, fool. Okay, yeah. I just yeah. feel like that's just recreational shit you just do on a you know, here and there. I didn't No, that's fun. fun. I did when I was when I was your age and younger, fun to me was fucking bitches, huh? We was doing that, but we was in the streets, you know what I'm saying? We was doing car club shit. We had, you know, fixing up whips, we was magic mountain, traveling, well, doing shit, on tour. Like I had a I had a whole bunch of shit I was doing, like, you know, but other, all the other shit y'all naming is just recreational shit where I do it a daily because I got four kids. So if that's fun, hell yeah, I'm having the time of my motherfucking life. <laughs> We're saying away from the kids. I'm like, never away from my kids. Nigga, if I am, I'm with Heather. So I'm never by myself. I'm never alone. Only time I'm alone probably is when she went to Texas. Yeah, yo, two or three boring. days. And Nigga. I was streaming. Th- yeah. And I had fun with these niggas. But that was your fun. You made that fun doing that, that, that a 48 hour stream. Well, 24 hours, 24 but I was going to do it anyway. But, yeah, that was fun. That was fun, for sure. But on a daily, on a weekly, on a monthly, yeah, I'm with my kids, nigga. And Heather, I, and that's just recreational shit, nigga. Well, maybe you need to find a hobby. I don't know, find a trade club or something. Yeah, learn to, like, paint or something. Yeah. Nigga, yeah. I know how to do all of that shit. Oh, my God. Fool, you do not know how to paint right now. No, he's not. He's painting his garage. No, he can paint. No, no, no but, spot. like, draw something nice Are you crazy? on a canvas. He drew the shit in his own garage. Like you the Bar Simpson and shit, right? Thing I did it with my left hand. I do two, two murals, nigga, in my garage with my left hand. I'm cold. Did they give you a stencil or you... A nigga, stencil. with a spray can, nigga, with all the different tops. The shit you do, nigga. Like, the shit you do, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, right? I gotta really show you. No, that is fun. That illegal? Yeah. Yeah, and illegal. <laughs> I... Definitely an artist. Hey, why do you tag though? Like, what's the, is it a thrill thing? Is the it adrenaline like, rush. Mm. I think, and 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 I think from like, the cans, he get high. Nah, that's crazy. Imagine just <laughs> nah, that's nuts. Actually, nah. you know, like, like you run from police, all kind of shit like that. Uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> now, fun. <laughs> they gonna get run this nigga. from the police. <laughs> More like rule. They gonna they gonna get this nigga. <laughs> Drinking and driving ass bitch. <laughs> yes. No, but that's that's it's a thrill. No, it is it's definitely a thrill, and then especially like I'm I'm still with all my homies since we was like twelve, so being able to be with all them, and just doing the same shit we do, arguing about the stupidest shit, like while we're doing it, kicking it, you know what I'm saying, just vibing. It's a vibe now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and also it's like a different thing, like not like as kids we were on scooters and bikes and skateboards throughout the whole city, fool. We were. Busting missions everywhere. Right. So now as adults, we got whips and the homies could only get out for like, oh my F for my BM one let me out for two, three mm-hmm. hours. You got yeah, spot. Yeah. So we we it takes that advantage. Now it's like now back then we used to have a bot like a fucking Amsterdam bottle or a UV bottle while right. while walking around drinking. We're probably getting down with some random ass people trying to be yeah, superheroes. Yeah. Now we're like on some like adult shit, but we're still doing what we've been doing as kids. Right. And it like, yes, right, it's a crime, but like and technically, like, <laughs> as kids, it was definitely, like, we're probably beating ourselves up for no reason. Now nah, we're not doing that, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. Like, we over there just trying to get the pain out the way, just make sure we don't get caught, and we out the way. We, You feel me? I pump, we pump ga- we pumping gas now. The fool with the license drives. Like, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's that shit. It's, like, still fun, but just an older version of us, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So you're, you're, you're coming of age. You're growing up now. Let me see. Oh, this shit did come out nice, actually. That's cool, man. Cool, man. man. That's like what Clicks did, though. So Clicks like, brought a lot, a lot of random people together and just have fun. Just have fun, man. Cause we used to have, we used to have fun out, at fucking like uh, at the studio. Yeah, the little studio functions before the camera. Yeah, and and you know and, what I mean? and then we used to go to like random ass parks and just kick it and drink all night. But now it's like. You know, for the homies got to work at 7, 8 a.m. Kids. Or, or kids. So now it's like, we'll link up. Got responsibility 11, now. 10 p.m. And then we'll be home by 1.30, 2. Boom, cool, call it a night. Everybody's chilling and we had a good ass time. What time do you go to sleep every night? Damn, that's a bad habit. I go to sleep late. I, I go, go to sleep, sleep like 1, 2 every night. Hey, that's normal to me. That's normal. Like 2. I, I mean, what like time you good. wake up? Like I 8. Yeah, me too. 
No, I waited like seven. I had to take my daughter to school. Look, look, fool, I taught myself. Bad. And I fucked up. I was fucking up until I got it. That's not bad. With my left Going hand. Two, waking up at eight. When I taught no kids, kids. Yeah, see, I was fucking up. Wait, but damn, you... T- Wait, how old is your daughter? 15. I set my alarm every day, 7.45. So I go to sleep, 7.45, wake up. I tell her to go get out of the room by 8. And then we, uh, we out the door. Damn, at 15, I was walking. Man, bro, in fifth grade, I was walking to the bus stop by myself. Yeah, she likes to walk, but, bro, it's, it's too many fucking... Where's she going on? Yeah, That's bro. Wild, though. I, I let her I walk do, home I from do school, look though. at that because in the fifth grade, I was walking home. I had a key to the house. I was picking my little brother up from, um, he, he was in kindergarten. I'd go get him from his teacher. Then we'll both walk home, go in the house, put our backpacks up. I'll lock the door. Then we'll walk to the park, nigga, and stay there till dark. Walk home, nigga, until my mama get off work. Nigga. Bro, I that used was to. I it was, was a different nine, time, though. Ten, that was one of me at 9, Yeah, 10. that was a different time. In third yeah. grade. This nigga was five. Yeah. Nigga, and I had to go make sure I take him to the little center. Nigga, I was doing that shit at 9, nine nigga. And to go take him to the little daycare center at the park. Then I go play, play basketball or flag football or whatever. Then, boom, we'll come, go get him again, and then we'll go back home. Like, yeah, that's cool. And that's, my mama only common. taught me how to do that one time. Like, nigga, this the key. Don't lose it. Put it around your neck. You feel me? Come nah, on, do nah, nerd. Nah. Walk to the park. Cool shit. Yeah, Put it on your neck. It's we crazy. I'm on there right around around around. I had a key, but I had it. Um, and it be on shoelace. Oh, right. God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Put it around your neck, oh, nigga. God. Don't lose it. You lose it. We fuck. We mm-hmm. everybody in this bitch fuck. But she used to be like, don't lose it. Put it around your neck. Nigga, take him. Nigga, this the way you walk. She gave me the path. Only walked with me one time. Nigga, this is it. And then after that, I'm like, oh, it's good. Oh, my homie live over here. He live over here. JB live over here. I start picking up my homies. We all start ganging up with each other, going to the park together. We was 9, 10. I couldn't even fathom or to think about my kids doing no shit like that right now. Nah. No. At all, nigga. That's crazy, yeah, because I remember I used to... Uh, when the school bus used to drop us off by the pad, and I mean, it wasn't like right by the house, but it was like maybe like a mile, mile or, or two away, and they used to be like, if you're from the third grade and up, you can walk on your own, and I used to just fucking troop it. But see, but yeah. back then, we had real communities. You knew everybody in your neighborhood for the most part. You know what I'm saying? You, you walking, you waving to them and shit like that. They waving back at you. Yeah, like, you knew everybody in your neighborhood. You don't know, people don't know people they fucking neighbors anymore. Everybody to themselves, they go in their house. Plus, we didn't have social media. Social media exposes how many weirdos and creeps are out there. Facts. So now we see that shit like, damn, these niggas everywhere. Did y'all see that? That little, it was a prank where they had like this white guy. He was, he was taking this little black boy and he was seeing yeah, how many he, people react. was going to react. And I'm like, the fact that some people would literally see a kid get kidnapped and mind their business and walk away, let you know that this world is they fucked up, like, bro. And I mean, but walking. that shit's crazy. At the same time, like... Yo, some of them were women. Like, what do you expect them to do? Some women. I mean, oh, you expect one, nigga one. do something. Don't scream. just go go about your day. I mean, what do you like? Like everybody, he just said, you can scream, some, you can call police, get away from him, follow him, do all type of shit. Some people just want to mind their business, bro. So you seen a little kid get kidnapped? Not me. I'm saying some people. You can't expect everybody to be a vigilante and want to go like you ain't got to attack. You ain't got to attack them, but you could do something. But no, how man. do you sleep with that on your conscience, knowing was, like, damn, somebody a, little kid got kidnapped? You will see that kid. Die, uh, uh, I mean, dead on the news, you'd be like, damn, I could have did something to help. Yeah, okay, if you feel that way, you got to play it across the board like that. When you see homeless people, do you give them money? Every homeless person you see. It's not the same. Nigga, you got to help. You want to help, right? Help. No, I said a little kid getting You want to help? A little kid getting abducted. So you want to help homeless people? Now listening. A little kid getting abducted no. is you not help the people. same as a homeless person. You, you, you said you want to help. Keep the same energy. You a help. kid getting abducted. Do you uh, want to help, nigga? Yes a homeless no. person? Yeah, they need help, too. Some put themselves in that position. They got abducted by life. life right, now, nah, you comparing two different... Life you comparing yeah, yeah. a heroin to addict a dark, to, a, to, to a sick person? I didn't person. say a heroin addict. I said a homeless. It's a, it's a difference I between said a, some put a here. homeless person. See, that's they think all just because you're a cracker. You're, no, homeless people are people got put up because they couldn't pay bills. You know what I mean? I'm not talking about an addict. I'm talking about a homeless person who got their kids. They just can't pay bills, bro. Okay, okay. I'll say this. I will help a homeless little kid. Yeah, for sure. Hey, I'll be hating when I see like... <laughs> Six with his hand up. I'll be, be hating when I see homeless people and they had a kid with them. I hate that. And I'll be like... To try to get money? They have them out there all but day? Are they trying to get money? Or are they 
don't have no other option. Some don't have an option. Some just want to get money. Just Some of that shit's a scam. It's yeah, but the shit be blowing. Hey, but the shit be blowing my mind when they ask for money and they kid over there in an iPad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, let me get that iPad. Where I got ten dollars. Where are you charging it? I I'm got like, pawn that bitch. I got ten dollars for that iPad. Bro, bro, I seen a video recently on TikTok where the guy's like, "Man, where's the little kid that died on this poster? I paid for the whole funeral. I just want to see where he." Ah. And then the, the mom oh, was like, damn, "Get away, get away!" I was like. No, he's like, I'll pay for the whole funeral right now. That's a cold one they be doing. When they be doing the mm-hmm. car wash, and it'd be like four of them. It'd be like four people. and be like car wash, and be like, huh? Be like, yeah, that's crazy. I did see another prank, though, where he was sitting down. I mean, where a kid was sitting down, and he came over to the bench, and he was like, hey, yeah, what's going on? Your mama gave me a, um, told me to come get you real quick. Where your mom at? She was like, I'm still waiting on He was like, yeah, I told her to come. Uh, she told me to come get you. And niggas on the bench, and everybody on the bench did react. Like, hold on, like, she, she said she don't know you, homie, like. Oh, yeah, I seen that one, I yeah, seen that one. and there was one nigga who got up, he was like, hey, homie, you don't want this, because I for sure got the, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, he told him, oh, yeah, he was like, he's oh, like, he's like, he's like, he's like, because he, he was like, no, it's okay, it's just you never met me before. He's like, oh, shoot you right now, bro. <laughs> right just now, get bro. He was like, I got it on me, please. Now, the shit ain't going good people. But did you see if Fatai Dollar Sign just did one, like, chasing a predator with fucking Vitaly? That shit was nigga, fuck that. How about Vitaly and them, right? They knocked some nigga out. No. And he died. No. Huh? Ooh. No, he didn't die. They didn't nigga he no, knocked he out. No, he, he died. died. He didn't die. He's in the hospital. He's in the hospital? No, 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 no. Uh, I, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. We're talking about the one where they found. The, no, they found, they found uh, one of the guys. He's like a famous movie director. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. He made Kenny Garden Cop 2, a whole bunch of other movies. That was with Bradley Martin. With Bradley Martin. With Bradley Martin. Fucking Vitaly and Bradley Martin. Found some dude, you know, they're doing the catch the predator. Bro, the dude ended up being a famous, a super, famous, super a famous, movie, director. A famous movie, movie director. Famous movie director. Ain't that, uh, shit, ain't that make that shit illegal now, though? You can't go around. You can't. You can't can attack them. You can't hit them. You can. You, you can expose anybody and record anybody in yeah. public. You can't attack them. But 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 fool, the one with Vitaly, fool, they found a famous movie director. Mm-hmm. Like, how, like how did they end up knowing? Cause the, well, the, well, the internet, the internet, yeah. Yeah, they found him. They probably like, bro, that's up. No, he looked too. He was like, damn, he's worth. Well, how much they say he worth? Bro, he went into his house, like, like yes. where, where he met up with the girl. He, for the dude lived like in a super player ass high rise, and then they met up with him. And bro, oh, he. Yesterday. I'm gonna tell you his name because oh, I saved this scary, shit. Dog. Look, 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 you'll see right now. And he does kid movies. Where are they? Do, where are they? Where are they getting these niggas off of? Online, yeah, bro. Online, bro. We're sure. online. How are they? How are they getting these niggas on? Is it a, a yeah? That's a the site? guy. This fool right here. But hold on, is it like a site that they're on? Like they know these. Like like, Ryan God. They Ryan say like. God. Is it like God. the dark? And not not the dark web. Nah, they be they be like grinders. What's shit? the um? What's that? What's that black guy's name? I think his name is Scooter or something. Why with the, the glasses. Kid on <laughs> yeah, they not on no date nap because. No, okay, no, kids, kids. On a date nap? Nigga, kids yeah. do that, bro. They'll sit there, and they'll sit there, they'll get on the app, and the people will ask them how old they are, and they'll tell them, and then they'll still talk to them. Like, I watch this shit all the time. That's how they set them up. That's how they move hey, them. what's the nigga name? What's the name? Scooter, look at, I think look at the name was Scooter John. Well, uh, what movies have he's directed? I, I seen Kindergarten Cop, too. Scooter John? On YouTube, I think. It's a black guy with glasses. Gideon did some shit with him, too. But he, he like, that's his whole shit, like... He catch people that do that catch shit. Catch predators? Yeah. But he, he, don't, he don't hit them. No, he no, can't no, 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 no. But the problem with Vitaly, I mean, I mean, I mean, it's not a problem, right? Fuck him. But for, for Vitaly's fans were watching, and one of the dudes, and for, 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 for the guy, they were right in front of the girls. Yeah, I saw that. He ran across the street and stopped And then, and then just doping him. But well, Vitaly didn't tell him to do that. Like, he's like, hey, don't. That's the guy right there. That's what, that's what Gideon. What's the nigga name? Oh, yeah, yeah. I did see this one. Man, that is wild, bro. Yeah. Yeah. The hat right there? Him right there. That's his whole channel. Wait, Gideon did. be doing that now or this old? No, no. Gideon, oh. he stopped YouTube completely. He said, I forgot. What was that he was just on? He was on somebody live. He was on live with 21 Savage. 21 Savage, yeah. That yeah, shit yeah. was funny. Called that nigga Crody. That nigga <laughs> hung, hung up, up on that bad. nigga. <laughs> oh, he back doing videos now? He was on live. Uh, he was on his IG or some shit. He was on his IG live. 21 was live. Cause, see, because I know he deleted his Instagram. I mean, not his Instagram. He uh, stopped all his YouTube videos, right? He deleted them, right? Okay. 
Yeah, but I seen that shit. I was like, damn, they knocked his ass out cold right there. Yeah, he put his ass in bed. That's like that motherfuckers in the grocery store. Remember that one time? White John? Them street, them street niggas, they was they was catching the predator and beating their ass and shit. Oh yeah. That shit went viral. It was a nigga I was in college with. They made that nigga do push-ups in uh, in the grocery store. Man, that's sad. That was a predator? And what happened to the perv busters? It might have been them niggas who made him do it. Uh, it was in a rouse. That's the niggas with White John, right? That was Yeah. yeah. Was that's what I'm talking about. The shit White John popped the oh, nigga. Yeah. Perv busters. Yeah. Which perv called, busters. Which was good, right? Oh, that was at the other little yeah, uh, yeah, establishment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. what happened to yeah. them? They still got perv busters. They still I don't know. Shit? Okay, perv busters. But anyway, let's get into the hot topic, and we don't even really gotta, you know, before we get into the hot topic, this nigga uh, Duno. We want to make sure that we know that he's a real hoe. You know what I'm saying? And uh, <laughs> BBL Duno, BBL Duno. Man, he BBL. changed his mind. Yeah. It's this is like. All the people that change their mind, I know it's just you, y'all got to feel real put, fucked up, dog. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you feel, man? Um, you know what? I fuck a real life bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. That put, makes sense. Damn, dog. <laughs> just a little bit. You know what? So I just, do you, you know, feel like no. is Kendrick disappointed in you? No, no, no. Yeah, I I hope so. Cause at least if he's disappointed, at least he knows who I am. So that matters, right? <laughs> no, but no, for, for oh my, I hate. See, bro, you're not even a real Compton native, bro. I'm talking to the real Compton native over there. How about a real Compton native? Oh my God, bro. See how you were about to make this about choose a joke, bro. Chill, bro. Don't get out the fence, bro. BBL, BBL Duno. Party Crip. BBL Duno. Party Crip. How's it going? No, fool, I didn't expect Drake to go outside like that. Ooh. So why are you no. changing up? Why you should won't stay ten toes hey, down? Can you shut the fuck up? <laughs> yeah, you ask me a question. You about the, you the diss this nigga? He, he tried to get that interview. <laughs> he tried to get that interview. No, I get it. And I'm, you trying I'm to diss that nigga? Bro. I'm out of you. Who? You dissing your favorite rapper? I diss Drake. I have a diss song. Yeah, nigga. That's BBL, crazy, bro. BBL Jersey. You know what? That's my, cold. my generation has been confused our whole life. <laughs> our generation. Are you gay? No, I'm not gay. Yeah, you confused through your team, Drake. <laughs> so your team Kendrick now, too. You hear me? Your team Kendrick now, too. No, I just... Look, so obviously, I'm not really... Like, I didn't know the ongoing 10-year beef. Like, that's that okay. was new to me. Right. I knew one song dropped, big three, and then everything from that, right? I'm not paying attention to subliminals from whatever albums dropped 10 years ago or 7, 5, right? Right. So I heard that, and I was like, oh, this is about to be fun. And also, it became funny to me. Naturally, but I'm not so deep into it like how you guys are. But you know what? I love that for you guys. You guys are amazing. Streaming every time song. Stop you know, you trying to move the goalposts, bro. Can you shut the fuck up, bro. I'm doing what you do all day. Let me talk. Let me talk. what you do every time. You, we asked you what's fun. You went on a rant about what's not fun, bitch. <laughs> this Can is you true. Shut the fuck this up. This is true. This is true. This is true. <laughs> Little axe this is over true. here. This is true. Mm-hmm. Got him. <laughs> Checkmate. <laughs> Guy. Got gotcha, you, bitch. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, he lying, though. He not. How do you start to buy your game, What's fun? That's regular. <laughs> the <is>. movies? <laughs> All right. So, so then, I'm like, oh, this is about to be lit. Again, my gen- a lot of my generation were like, ah, oh, bro, I, I don't think I, I generally didn't think Kendrick was gonna come like that. I just didn't, ex- I just didn't expect it. Bro's been at my for like five years. Like, 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 you feel me? Like, where you at, Dad? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then, and then, and then he came back <laughs> and just bodied this nigga, bro. Like, I'm like, I'm looking at these songs dropping. and I'm like, fight back, <laughs> fight back, bro. And then Meet the Grounds came out and I was like, oh, it's over with. What, what do you do from there, fool? Like, like what, what, like, what are you supposed to? And then he did that and then he came out with a song that makes you want to dance. I'm like, oh my God, bro. He just got full, like, he literally, that was shit on your chest, dog. Like, yeah, yeah. bro, he bodied everything that you, bro, like, oh my God. Don't get me wrong. Family Matters, great visuals, right? The song, I got, you got to give credit, right? Right, right, right. Great, right, great right. song. Right. The visual, oh my God. I was like, oh, this is what. But then Meet the Grabs came my way. What are we supposed to do, fool? You got, the song was scary, fool. I had nightmares from the song, way. The song was scary, dog. The beat was scary, fool. I didn't know one of the dudes that created the beat does all of Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift producing. I was like, yeah. this shit is getting deeper. This is getting too deep for me. Along with Alchemist. What? 
Alchemist, uh, along with Alchemist. Mm -hmm. Oh, along with Alchemist. Yeah, yeah. And then he dropped the last one, and I was like, oh my God, it's over with for you. And then, and then you wave the white flag. And then it's like, bro, at least go, but keep, keep fighting, bitch. Keep fighting. Bitch. Wave the white flag. And then you wave the white flag. And then it's like, we try to give you the benefit of the doubt of you being, oh, bro, sad. So bro. what song made you turn your back on Drake? Meet the Grams. Oh my God. You got, that's, everybody's saying it's not like us, right? But I feel like Meet the Grams bodied him. Like, I think, I think to me, and this is just my opinion, right? Again, I'm not, to me, it was like, oh, this is going to be fun. Back and forth, they talk about each other's kids, each other's bitches, and whatever. Boom, boom, bada, bing, bada, bing, bada, bing, bada, boom. And then that comes out, and I was like, oh, it went, it, it went, it crossed that line that I, and I don't think anybody has ever crossed with Drake, and I was like, ah. But what made your stance so strong in the first place? Like, what evidence? Because you made skits. You were like, I'm Team Drake, I'm I'm this. Like, you was really like, yeah. on I, I make skits, that's what I do. I know, but like. A fan, what, bro. He listen, no, I'm talking about just like hip hop. What made you think like Drake is about to body Kendrick, in your opinion? I didn't think, I didn't think he was going to body Kendrick. I just didn't expect that from Kendrick. I didn't think, okay. I didn't think, I didn't think it was going to be like, oh, Kendrick's not enough. I just didn't expect what I, what I got. And then now, like, does that make sense a little bit? Like, yeah. I didn't expect. Kendrick to go like this. Right. Like, like, I like the, I like the back and forth. Like, like, and that's, and as much as people go like, oh, this, that, that's serious, right? Like, I love the creativity, right? Like, he put the day free shit. Obviously, he had the things about day free, supposed to be having a kid with your baby mama and stuff like that. And, oh, you have an, like, that's cool. But when Meet the Grams came out, you're like, oh, this shit's at a whole other level. And the way you made a song that, like, bro, like, I was, I was listening to Rory Amal, and somebody said you made a pedophile anthem. Like, bro, that's, that's crazy. That's like, that's I'm crazy. like, bro, like, like as much as I, I'm, and again, hip-hop is not my strongest suit. I can't go over there and break down 15 years of it for you. Right. But for somebody that's just a fan in general, I'm like, now I know why you guys love this shit so much. Yeah. I get it. I was, I was explaining to Letty and Vic, I was like, this is what it feels like when the game and G-Unit kind of were going at it, right? And, she, and I was like, imagine for the people in the 90s. This is how I felt when Pac and, and I'm like, and I'm like, and I'm like, you can't be mad at the fact that we, the, the hip hop we're getting is a bunch of snitches. The casual. Hold on, hear me out. The, and we do it here. We, we talk about, we, made, we talked about a wild sale case for 15 months for, I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Gunna, and it was just ongoing dumb shit that it's, it kind of made it like, Bro, like watered down. Oh, fool. Mm -hmm. And again, let me break this down to you. Yeah. I was telling them, I was like, what happened to all the rappers that had all this crazy buzz and 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 I'm not shitting on just nobody specifically, but like the finesse two times and all these rappers that it, like the the level of hip hop was so like there was no high expectation. Now there's a high expectation. Now you can't just drop nothing and, and expect to go crazy because two of the greatest have set the bar now. Mm -hmm. and, and and if you reach now I'm like oh now I get why you guys always talked about it so highly from the past now I'm able to be like I saw this whole shit happen do you think um, let me ask you this and everybody yeah. what media personalities do you think was compromised or on payroll in this whole situation oh Ma okay <laughs> you don't think Ma was compromised oh Ma was hot Ma, this is who was compromised. And this, was oh, no, 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 I don't give a fuck with nobody <laughs> thinks about no, like see, look, Hold on, but before you get into it, the way Ma was acting and, and you know, Re crazy. as far as emotions go and being a Drake fan and having Drake back, that's how you should be acting right now. Exactly. What do you mean that's how I should be acting? Yeah, because you was taking Drake's side. No, a part of me... You went from saying Team Drake to dissing the nigga He was making skits. Yeah, bro, again, hip-hop is not as serious to me as it is to you guys, which is why I was... Food, which am is I going, why you got fired. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I was going to say something. <laughs> I was going to say something. I was about to say I was, gonna, I was like, I'm shit. about to blow it. <laughs> oh, no, no. no, no, no. no, no, no. All right. Anyways, okay. Uh -uh. But again... He said it again. <laughs> but... Like, I can't go on stream every time you drop a song. I just, I think, I look at it, I'm like, oh, this is cool. So I got to respect the, but you're, you're, so let me answer the question you asked. Because, oh, wait, which I should I ask first? No, no. Who, for who was compromised? Yeah. Who okay. Who was Ma was definitely compromised. Okay. Oh, my God. You guys are definitely compromised. <laughs> Ow. 
out. <laughs> he didn't see that one coming. I saw him. Oh, hey, bro. Like this. You, you know what? This is why little bro is good to be here. I like because that. I like that. You guys are the most compromised West Coast motherfuckers of all time. And I'm, not, and I'm not mad at it. That's what you're supposed to do. The problem is that Moss not from Toronto. Other than that, who gives a fuck, right? But you guys are 100% compromised. No, and I'm not mad at it. 100% bias? That that's 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 damn near being compromised. That's just a way of that's damn near being compromised. But see, look, look. I think I think the word bias. I think compromise. Not compromises. I no, gotta no. give him some bias, information. Bias, yes, but compromise, no. Because listen, this is compromise. Kendrick drops. This is trash. Nothing that Drake dropped. We was like, oh, this is the worst piece of crap ever. Like we don't do that. Like I'm gonna tell you guys. I'm gonna tell you guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We, go, we go said it like, like we just said right now. We said family matters is hard. You feel me? Like, we listening to this shit, and we're like, like, mind you, we've said from day one that we are Drake fans. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're going to ride with the West Coast regardless. Now, if Kendrick was losing this battle, or to me, this this whole beef of war, I would be the first to be like, yeah, he losing. I won't go stupid crazy in, yeah. but I would at least be honest and say, we'll this is, it. we'll acknowledge it. This is not a good look right okay, now. Okay, so if you don't think you're compromised, do you think Terrell's compromised? And be honest. No. Pun compromise? I ain't gonna say compromise. No, bias, yes. Bias, we all got some bias in us, right? Yes. For sure, hundred percent. Some of us got more <laughs> some of us got more <laughs> Hey, some of us got more bias than others though, because yes. some of us are trying to get an interview. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> no, no, and that's why, and that's why this is, and, and, and I'm gonna tell you what, and that's why watching you, I thought to me, this is how I look at it. I look at you guys living your childhood dream all over again, bro. Let the Vic is like every, bro. You guys are nerds when it comes to this shit. So, bro, let's be honest. It's fun, so, bro. You know, you know what it's called? No, hear me. Actually, liking hip hop. <laughs> It's a fun time. I can get it. <laughs> yes. No, but look, to me and Six, like, bro, yes, bro, we don't, don't... put Six in that shit. No, Six, we don't <laughs> care. We think it's funny, and we don't... We, the love for it is just... I, that's fun to him. Him being able to go back and forth and reactions, that's... See, you, you should have said that, bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, no, but <laughs> he excluded streaming. Yes, but I, I think seeing you guys kind of like... I think that's the dope part about this whole shit, right? Other than the fact that, yes, people are being biased or whatever. I think seeing you guys break down shit and have fun, I'm like, oh, these fools are really living their childhood dreams. Oh, my God. Like, bro, yeah. no, dead ass, bro. Yeah. Like, dead ass, my brother-in-law hates Drake. Fucking lame ass, fucking gay ass fool. He always doing some fucking high nine ass shit. This was fucking Team Kendrick, dog. Like, this fool rap. Like, he listens to yeah. Eminem on a stereo, fool. Like, yeah. and then I'm like, and I'm like, you've been paying attention. He's like, I don't even have Instagram. Fuck, I gotta go on YouTube and watch shit. He, my brother-in-law has noise, but he's like, that's how much this shit got me intrigued. And then he was like, this shit reminded me of the G-Ju, the mm -hmm. G unit, the, the fucking G unit and the game days and shit like right. that. So I'm like, oh, you're enjoying this shit. He's like, bro, I can't tell you one rapper from the last, since like 2010. Obviously, he knows, like, the main people, right? Like, the people I want to survive, right, like, right, right. die spying and shit like that. But he's generally, like, bro, this shit is what fucking, like, it's interesting, it's dope. But he's super, like, you know, Latinos, Latinos, like, yeah. except, I guess, Duno. Love Kendrick. Well, you bro, know? you're, because you're, like, a casual listener, bro. Yeah. And, you and, don't deep dive into it. And I feel like, right now, there's way more casual listeners, right? This is, like, their first time really, like, Really being involved into uh, some rap beef, bro. But like, bro, but us, this is definitely my first time deep diving ever. Yeah, like super. But, that's, but that was dope, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, amazing. Fire. That's what I'm saying. You but that's, that's what made us like hip hop to begin with back in the day. So then, so then, can you understand why our generation didn't take it as serious as you guys did a little bit? Can you can you get? Oh, 100 percent. Can you get where our point of view is? Yes, because you didn't have nobody where you like champion behind that is, is a, as popular yeah. that's would, out there. And I wouldn't even say your generation, like, that's just you. No, no, I think, no, 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 no. His generation, y'all no, had, his generation. Y had a softer out. generation. For sure, for sure. Y'all had a softer generation, y'all had the mumble rap phase, y'all yes. had all these phases where it wasn't but don't, but don't like say great artists going at it, like, you don't have that caliber, the caliber doing, going that. At going at going at it, at it. but they still love hip hop, they still have no, artists. No, 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 that generation went through a their, yes, mumble SoundCloud rap era. Well, then, but I'm saying the, the the mumble rapping in those eras, there still was an attachment to hip hop that was crazy. But it wasn't no competition. That shit was 
it was. It was, it was shunned shun by hip hop. Yes. Nigga, are you going to say it was the reason J. Cole beefed it with a whole generation? But look, we were talking about this is not real hip hop. The older niggas, but that shit didn't do anything. No. Because those niggas were selling out festivals. The biggest festivals ever. But you know the older niggas still headlining them. You, you, you. And I never wasn't shunning them. I love them all. You I don't love them all. Get the fuck out. You don't listen to any music, bro. You don't listen to Little Pop no, or Little Yachty. You don't listen to them. Get the fuck no, out. He listen to Little Yachty. Listen to Yachty. What are you talking about? You listen bro. to Little Yachty. <laughs> Little Yachty shit is hard. You, he's, he's, he's different. Okay. But I'm saying, do. he don't what listen. What was his first era, though? He don't listen. To, yeah, his first era was that. His code in Minnesota. Hold on. Hold on. Name, name a Juice World song. I don't know. I, I, can't <laughs> off my, I don't know nobody. I just so let me explain. I've already done this. He can't even do that with me. You can't even do that with me. Destroy Lonely. No, hold on. Shut the fuck up. Did he go kiss an ass right now? How am I kissing ass? Trying to get an interview. Fuck these niggas. I don't need an interview. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I love this argument. No, no. Speak for yourself. I sound bad. I don't want to interview. You cannot say that about the kiss an ass. Hear me out. Okay. Hear me out. One, I'm blessed to be able to know two languages, because that means my expansion of music is a little... Poor six, you have to stick with one. Yeah. I, I was able to expand to poor other six. languages. Yeah. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and so keep in mind, my to me, my, I, I never liked the little Yachty's. And that's because, you know what I was listening to in high school, which is, I think, the most important time for any kid, at least if you're a hip-hop sure. fan, right? For sure, for sure. You know what I was listening to? Mac Miller, Shoreline Mafia, Draco, O3 Greedo, RJ, Ooh. YG. Ooh. That was yeah. my, to me, Ooh. I never liked the little white kid shit. And then, bro, but so that, hear but me that's out. Still, that's the love of hip hop. Let's talk, let's talk. Don't get it out. shit off. Don't get it so shit what off. I'm saying is, and they never were, I, and their shit was never no really back and forth to music. I mean, if they were street shit, they were street shit, right? But I was just, that was what I was listening to. I never listened to, to this day, like, you guys always shit on me. Like, I don't listen to, like, Atlanta music like that. I'm not, I'm listening to Dom Ken. That, that's all I'm listening to. So when I say in general, all around, hip hop was not the same than it was for you. Bro, there was a mumble rap era. I can't name you one little Pete song, RIP to him. But I can't name you one song from that era, fool. I can't name you one Machine Gun Kelly song. <laughs> he wasn't even part of the era. <laughs> Who the fuck is that guy? Bro, you Why talking you about two different rap? eras. Man, that's what just gets me mad sometimes. He's before. He's, before. He's, He's way before. I can't, like, you know what I'm saying? I can't. See, this, he don't know hip-hop. The, the, no, no, I GK in the mama rap era. He make a sense, but he just messed up right I, there. I, I, that was, that was, that was a little bit. I just, I, his face came up to mine. I wanted to sock him. <laughs> Team Eminem, <laughs> homie. That's how I feel. He'll fight you, too. <laughs> I'll beat the shit out of him. So you don't like, you don't like Young Thug? You don't like Future? I'm not the biggest fan. I like I like I like Migos. I like Migos. Yeah, like you know, these these are all in the same. This is Twenty One Savage, Lil Yachty, Lil Uzi. This is the this is the same era. What the fuck? Where the fuck are you? Where, how old were you when these niggas was out? I'm not listening to like, Lil Uzi. What the fuck are you talking the about? You're not the that fucking together. young, dog. I'm not listening to. That's just not my type What's of music. You're not listening to who? I'm trying to figure it out. I'm not listening to Lil Uzi. I, you're listen, I'm listening to mainstream. But, no, but that's fair. Lil Uzi's mainstream. Uzi had bangers. When we were in high school, he wasn't. He wasn't. No, no, I'm just saying. That's what I'm saying. Oh, you're talking about when you were in high school. We're talking about my, the importance, bro, in in high school. What year was you in high school? From 2014 to 2018. Yeah. Mm. Exactly. Exactly. Go ahead. Who just came out? No, 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 I'm trying to think. Go ahead, no, 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 go ahead. Hold on. Name me the I'm biggest. I'm trying to think who was the biggest artist in 2014. Drake, probably? 2014 had. Drake? Bangers, nigga. That's, yes, you had ASAP Ferg, uh, ASAP Rocky, and that was still Wayne, and that was still hold on, Nicki, and that was still hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. That was still the era where I was listening to Casey Veggies, Mac Miller, Joey Badass. That was just, that's that's not mumble rap, fool. Two thousand fourteen was a year. Q, was a year. Mustard went on a stupid yeah. run. No, and what I just say, YG's. That's the two chains. Everybody had a, a mustard. R.I.P. Everybody had a mustard scene. I'm trying to figure that out what's, what, 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 who was the biggest mumble rapper. You feel like oh, I'm not into these mumble rappers. Like it was just a that whole okay, wait, wait. hot nigga came out in 2014. Oh, Bobby Smurda, Nicki Minaj, a lot of hits. That was a year a lot of the artists yeah. took off. 
A lot of artists took off. Days of Love, Try Me, Jeezy. Schoolboy Q. Yeah, 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 try everybody me. shit, like all that try shit. We them boys. This, yeah. this, this was a good era. My, 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 my freshman year was a great era. See, but, but, but going back to what it was, it's like... There was no yo, co- yo, yo, Tiger, real competition Tiger, everybody was going crazy. in, in hip hop. No, your there era. was. It, it was just. It was just. You were a listener, and it was all bangers. There wasn't even no albums unless for when did my crazy life drop? All right. So, so what's our point here? What do we? Let's get back to what we was actually. He, said he wasn't about. listening to mumble rap. So what yeah, is the actual mumble rap? He wasn't listening to uh, SoundCloud rappers, mumble rappers, like, who was the all SoundCloud that rappers? shit. That's what you're saying, right? Because I feel uh, like little, that shit came little, a little later. I'm not listening. I wasn't. Um, I, 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 I should have started. Was dope, bro. Little, yeah, Lil Yachty. Yeah, like who? I'm what, not, what I didn't listen. What are we talking about? Bro, bro. bro, I'm a different I, type of West Coast kid, fool. I'm not like, and, and, and I'm not shitting on nobody, but fool, I wasn't raised listening to fuck. Like when when my parents were, but if my older homies were playing hip hop, it was like NWA and fucking Ice Cube and the game and shit like that. West Coast so West I was West. never into, I never, to me, I don't, I'm not a fan. It's just, you can't be mad that I'm not a fan of Atlanta no, music. No, no, but no, I, no, I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm No, but do you. know, I don't get how you listen to Dom, you listen to Casey Veggies, you listen to all these West Coast niggas, but you didn't fuck with Kendrick. It don't make no sense. I never said I didn't fuck with Kendrick. That's not what I never you said. Didn't no, say that no, last no. Week. I didn't say I didn't fuck with Kendrick. Put words in his mouth, man. Yeah, I did. No, last I, week no. he said, I don't I fuck said, with Kendrick like that. No, no, no. <laughs> Put words in his mouth. All right. I never said I didn't fuck with Kendrick. Drake just I listen to more Drake than I did with than I did to Kendrick. Okay, so name name some Kendrick songs you like. Hey, good kid, Mass City. What year was that? Thirteen or fourteen? Uh, that was twelve. Twelve. That yeah. was twelve. Ooh. I was in what sixth grade. What a fucking time. Did you like that album? Good kid, Mass City. Damn. Yes. Of course. Okay. Past Good Kid, Mad City. What, what year was YG? What, 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 what album did you fuck with, in your opinion? Okay, 14. There it is. Past Good Kid, Mad City? Past Good Kid, Mad City. What Kendrick album did you fuck with? Dam was okay. I fuck with Dam. I I didn't... I never went back to Pimp a Butterfly until I got older. You didn't and fuck that, with Good Kid, Mad City? No, yeah, yeah. That's a, uh, but that's a classic, bro. That's super like... Classic, super that's classic. like, if, if you don't like it, you're kind of weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, like that's why when... when, when <laughs> you're kind of weird. Like, I ain't gonna lie. He's like, like, like fool, you're right. weird, fool. That was a great he, album. Whether you're a fan or not, fool, you know what the fuck you're talking about. That was a great album. Fucking, bro, there's... Bro, I can't even, bro. That, I'm not saying Kendrick didn't... I didn't know Kendrick songs, fool, but... Bro, like, to me, like, I listen to more Q than I did Kendrick. And that was just because from the era and like that uh, that I was coming from, like I listened to Mac Miller, Casey Veggies, Joey Badass. But our, is our point here what we trying to make is they they wasn't beefing and they they era was soft. No, it just wasn't as competitive. It wasn't. It wasn't we didn't as have intriguing. No competitive rap there were bangers, that time bro. Like I'm not that. saying there wasn't bangers. It just wasn't as intriguing, fool. You gotta think about it, bro. Drake's biggest enemy before this Kendrick shit was Joe Budden. No, I'm talking about as, <laughs> as far as somebody that can be compared on his level was Meek Mill. That and, was and, that was his biggest opponent. And 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 for he bodied Meek Push Mill. Pusha T is hard, but Pusha T is Meek not Mill. on the Drake. He's never been on the Drake but even level. Even though too, when I was in high school, like niggas wasn't like niggas. We when when I was in high school, I'm talking about music was on a whole nother motherfucking I know. level, and we had R and B like again, a competitive. Yeah, but that was I was in the '90s shit, though. But again, there was no fuck. Look, <laughs> but we're, we talking about competitive. Nobody wasn't like out here beefing all day, nigga. No, After no, that that's Tupac not, shit. That's that shit not was the point. Are you crazy? Right, it was beefing. What do you mean? Nigga, a nigga, lot of people. Like, nigga, be, be, Beanie Siegel, Jada Kiss, nigga. Cannabis, LL Cool J, everybody. Yeah, LL Cool J. LL Cool J was a nigga. And cannabis, nigga. When I was going to Chris Rock. Y'all crazy. That's what you was. That was. LL Cool J was out when you was in high school. I'm talking about, it was a lot of beef going on forever. They would have said, knock you out. Hey, there's no way. There's no way. Hey, see, why are you arguing with me, bitch? Hold on, hold on. I'm thinking about it. Bitch, stop arguing with me when you were there around the LL Cool J beef, bitch. Don't These niggas are saying anything. Look, that shit is bro, out. Don't do that. Hey, don't do that. Hey, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. I was yelling. Hold on, hear me out. Hear me out. The only thing I know about L. The only thing I know about L. Cool is. I used to think L. L. stood for love, L. A. I don't. Hey, don't get up too much. That's the only. That's the only bar that you buy. That's the only bar I know from L. L. Cool J, and that's from the game. 
Why you now that was sick too. But my hair was crazy. I asked him for love, bro. You said how the fuck you said after Tupac cool and Biggie, you nobody, gotta, you gotta remember, bro. Was it was in high beef. school. Listen, he's talking about how high school. What year is you high school? One of the biggest beefs in rap happened right after that. He graduated in 2000. I was born. Jay Z, Nas, Jay Z, Nas, Game and Fifty, Jay Z, Nas. Nigga, that wasn't it, bro. What? Jay Z and Nas wasn't big. Bro, I was in high school, G. You was oh yeah, you graduated already. We had we had fabulous, nigga. We had stupid music, nigga. Bro, it was all kind of niggas beefing. Jay Z and Nas, fuck that. Fifty dissed the whole industry. Had Jay Z dissing him, everybody was going there. Kendrick dissed the whole industry. Carolina Holmes was beefing. Bro, it was all kind of beef. Control is not the level when Fifty came out of How to Ride, bro. It's the same shit. Had the whole no, it's not. Had the whole industry going crazy. Yeah, Fifty Ja Rule. You had fucking Game and Spyro. You had. It was beef going all every Nigga, Jada, was, Jada Kiss who? beat Benny Siegel. Oh, that, that beat Cameron and Jay Z. Dude, did you see? If you're from here. See what? Okay, okay, okay. One. Okay, so, so, okay. so, okay, here, so okay, let me explain. So, let okay, me break it down. All the music that I named that I fucked with was only West Coast music because that's all I knew. I said, who? <laughs> I mean, I'm just being honest, bro. We're being honest on a podcast. Go ahead. So that's 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 what I'm saying, fool. The love for hip hop that you guys had, bro. Look how many beats they named right now. That's the love they had. That's how much they were paying attention. As, he wasn't. As, okay, that's okay. How much oh my god. Hear me out. Six. Name one important beef other than this one and Drake body Nick that you remember about that you were really paying attention to. Go ahead. Do yeah. no, do no, do no winning. You can. Our, you know our why? Love, you know our, why? Love for, our love for hip hop. Why are you screaming? Is- so look, are you know why? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what. Look, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why. No, 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 no. And streaming too. Streaming shows, all of that shit. Take it away from that. We only can pay attention to certain things, and they were only highlighting certain things. And we can only look at these Source Magazine, King Magazine. We only had CDs. We only yeah, had wow. certain things, nigga, that we could look at that highlighted that we knew. But these young kids definitely. Had beef like like Bob saying excess to knock you on. This nigga's getting socked and knocked out on stage. Russ was getting Russ was running in the niggas slapping niggas. MG uh Machine Gun Kelly was socking niggas. The niggas we used to work you're, with. You're talking about physical. You're talking about physical. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking talk, about physical. No, that's about 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 I'm from wax. the West Coast. I'm talking we're, about real we're talking about music beef. We're right. talking about on wax making to where people records. care about it. They're making this record, bro. We 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 really couldn't care that much because who punched XSX? But I don't know, but Rob look. Stone. Yeah, hey, hey, I, I, that's a reach. What you're talking about? No, you, no. You didn't give a fuck. That, no, Keyword. No. We, we, we didn't talking about Eminem MC Gang. You're talking about we had a rookie though, to a fucking vet. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> but we had to care. He thought even with the, rapper, even you know. with the West Coast. He's getting mad, dog. Bro, so you care. Even with the West Coast, nigga. What magazine started that West Coast, East Coast beef, nigga? You're talking about a magazine, bitch. Yeah, I don't know about it. a magazine. We're talking about disc records. We're talking about disc records. I'm talking what about that. happened with Bro, that. we're talking about impact in hip hop that those, in the world things, cared about. These niggas looking at these things for us, for that to impact us, had to be an influence on us because that's all we had. Now that's it's, not it's all a we broad, had, T-Rail. broader things. Like we're not looking at magazines and we're not looking at we these don't have magazines we're not looking no at more. Watch this shit. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Only things, it was yeah. just certain things that to make us to okay, highlight no, those beats. Okay, media, media, no, 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 media okay, has music. Definitely bro, okay, media hold on, hold on. has hold on, hold on, hold on, music, bro. There's, people there's people don't get their entertainment magazines no more. Okay, hear me out. It's just like blogs. Nobody holds up blogs no more. Hear me out, right? You're saying that if anything we should be more in tune because of the amount of access we have, right? That's, that's your argument right now. No, it's, we, we have don't. too much access, nigga. And people don't care. The information is getting put out too much, a lot. Okay. People don't care about nothing. It's just about clicks. It's okay. not about even the right okay, information Okay, so you no just, more. you proved my point why I don't. I didn't. It, it, fool, because if, if somebody drops a great album and I'm supposed to fall in love with it, that his next man is being snitched on and getting killed, that's what I'm going to press instead of the album. So I didn't fall in love with the sport as much as you, because you guys were only, there's there's fools fucking getting random ass bitches pregnant, and that's all we're talking about, and that's all I'm seeing on my social media, instead of reviewing this great album that should maybe go pay attention to. Right before 2014, when I was when I was paying attention to it, the Schoolboy Q days, the Mac Miller, there was, it wasn't as dramatic as it is from my high school and up. That's all that you was like going on. Hey, do, do no I like Ice Cube? Yes. Do no do, so your homeboy do is no like cooking. Ice Cube, right? Yes, I like Ice Cube. So when you 
you do your hip hop research and you like these artists, you go back, you usually go back to your artists and see what the fuck they were doing. But you know how rare that is? For, for, your that's rare. for your So compar- when you're doing hip hop and you really love it and you love hip hop and you love music, you go back and you go see what's going on. When you go see what's going on, then you teach yourself what's what's going on with hip hop and then you'll know what's, what it is. Then you'll know what Kendrick Lamar is doing with Drake. You'll fall in love with what's going on in the hip hop essence. What you're saying is bullshit. So what you're saying is, oh yeah, I just didn't know. So we didn't have that when we were younger. But but your older, your OGs was teaching you this already. He was listening to D- DJ Quick and the Ice Cubes and the Easy E's and all this. So when you go back and listen to these niggas and these niggas was dissing shit, you was going you was going to get that information. No. You was going to soak up that no, shit. No, but see, hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta understand. You gotta Bro, understand. No, no, let me say one thing. Let me say. Let me say one thing. But you gotta understand. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me say real quick, real quick. You gotta understand. My homies weren't playing the song, pausing it every on their fucking MP3 or stereo or whatever the fuck, and being like, "This is what this." That's your homies. But what I'm so that you y'all forgetting one thing. Duno does not love hip hop. He's a casual so listener. So why are we listening to this nigga? Hold on, this no, nigga? no, hold on. No, I'm, 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 no I'm what I'm saying is, real, he does not like hip hop oh, enough to go back and do his research about hip hop. So, he's a casual listener. So why are we listening to him? Because that, that means he's no, 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 I don't give a fuck about. I don't give a fuck about his hip hop taste. All I said was he was Team Drake last week. Now he dissing the nigga, and that's the argument. No, yeah, but that's my thing is most of my generation is casual listeners. No, you're no. Always in you. His so, generation is casual listeners. Bro, 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 his bro, generation what? is listening to this right now. Casual. He, a lot of people are not. This is their first time being invested into this shit. If they we know, were alive right now, these niggas is going to tell you every single thing about these beefs and what's going on because Google is fucking crazy. No, because you have. 50, Are you 000, ridiculous? You have 50,000 people breaking it down on YouTube now, bro. Okay, six, six. So that makes you a fucking almost a genius now. It makes you more knowledgeable okay, than this. me. Okay, watch this. Watch this. Name one podcaster my age right now that could break down a whole fucking hip-hop scene right now. Name one my age. His age. Your one my age? age? Name one my age. No, Every right. motherfucker talking about this shit is 30 plus years old, about to hit 40. Right, Name choice. one podcaster, because there's multiple I mean, people booming. All right, I'm going to let you know right now. Go ahead. Who? who, who? You, you talking about cooking, but Lil Yachty is a, is he a, a, he's a, he's a definitely a podcaster. He's an artist. And he'll run it down, but he's a podcaster too. Bro, you can't he's, ask an so, artist, And bro. his friend is a podcaster. He'll run it down. They both your age. <laughs> Name their artists during the music scene. I'm 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 not an artist. This is what I do. Name a name a regular podcast. And it's not even no podcasters right now on the West Coast, nigga. Yo, age, but I'm if talking it's somebody about, close, I would go get Vic right now to run it up for you. Vic is Vic is a whole fucking dad. He's like 30, he's a journalist what about that mean? hip-hop. Exactly. N- name a kid my I'll age. Name one person. N- n- my age, go ahead. Flacco. That's it. Flacco's breaking down the beef about back in the day from the 90s. Flacco will break down anything. Right he's now. He's considered a hip-hop journalist. And uh, he's named. He's going to do his due diligence and go back and do the research to make his point. This is true. So go ahead. So who else? Flacco? You use that Flacco. Whatever. This is his point. Gina? He <laughs> Gina's not my age, bro. Gina's over 30, bro. But, bro, stop it, bro. But it's nobody even your 90s age. 90s kids, bro. It's nobody your, it's nobody your age doing is shit reacting, like this. But he's not going back. He doesn't. He's not knowing either, though. He, the young, what is he? We can't. We don't. What we, is can't, he? we can't put he's that on Casanato. Cas- though. He's a casual. He's a bro. You can't you? put that on him. You can't say what he knows and what he doesn't know. <laughs> you can't say that. How do you know that, bro? What these, you mean, bro? Like, nigga, how these, do you know that? Listen, do you know? Do you know what we mean by casual listener? How do you know that? How do you know the extent of the hip hop knowledge Kaisenat has? Because he doesn't display it. That don't mean shit. So no, okay, it does mean something if 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 your base when you have if, talking if, points, if your fan base you're talking about? if your fan base is based yes his fan base is based on him he does great but if your fan base is based off you bringing these big ass hip hop rappers like legends like Nicki Minaj and stuff like that do you feel like they should have hip hop knowledge they don't mean shit dog. Fuck, they, hey, fuck you don't have that. to bring the guests fuck on to that. that. Fuck you don't have that. to bring the guests on. This. The top people in hip hop media are all, fucking all, forty all, year old, all, are forty all year old older. men. They're older people. Yes, bro. Let's not, bro. Who are we paying attention to? How old is academics? He's thirty plus. Bro, their job profession has nothing to do with at the at his age to know to let me to let me know bro, what's a hip hop knowledge. Younger, the younger generation. Okay, you are, hold no, on. hold on, hold on. The younger generation is proven. 
they're not covering hip hop as a whole. They don't have shit. to cover it to actually know it. T so real. if I go get six right now to cover hip hop, you're six gonna tell me he's not know. gonna know. Go ahead, six, sit down and ask him a question. He's gonna that. know more go, than Duno. Okay, ask him. Go, go ahead, quiz us. Go ahead, six. He's just sit saying he doesn't quick. know about the past, yeah, bro. No, he's, he's a casual listener as well. He'll know more than Duno. <laughs> he's a casual listener, bro. He'll oh, know six, more than Duno. Six, sit down, six, sit down, bro. We're podcasting. Look, he don't want to sit down for a fucking reason. Sit down, sit no, down. He'll, he'll know more. But my well, point is, he'll no, know more no, than no, Duno. No. What, what's your point, no, Jordan? I'm of talking all, about we, my generation. First I'm of being all, honest we about. Hey, no, hey. no, we are, we are. No, of course, bro. This is a great conversation. I'm talking about my generation. My the amount of TikTokers, YouTubers, and influencers that are that are that are around right now. Right, my generation is saturated with it. Right, 100. percent Yes or no? You said the amount of what? The amount of influencers, TikTokers, podcasting, YouTubers that are in the world right now that are my age, right? The amount, there, there's a, there's a lot I don't of know them. if they're your age or no, not. No, no, there's, you know, there's a <laughs> lot of I don't know, I don't know. There's a lot of people, I know, I'm, I'm in a rare space where I'm this young in a podcast where you, where the conversations like this go on. But what I'm saying is the amount of, the amount, if anybody my age usually has a podcast right now, it's not based off hip hop. Let's just be totally honest. It's yep. based off fucking, it's based off drama. It's based off strictly entertainment. And, and I'm not knocking those podcasts. What and I'm that's saying fine, is, but what does that have to do with their hip hop knowledge? Because, because if there was common knowledge about these things, you don't think they would start a podcast no, about the knowledge they, they have? They don't have to. Probably. They might want to do something else in their younger age. Why would they want to start a podcast talking about hip-hop? Because, because the most success- If I'm 22, 23 years old, why the fuck would I want to do that? That's not my career path. But if it go down that, if it go down that path and I have to start talking about but, that, but I'm going to have the knowledge. T-Rail. It's college courses on this type of shit, nigga. Oh, it's college teaching, courses who's on Who's teaching the college Tupac, courses, bro? Nigga. You oh, feel me? Who's they don't matter who's teaching it. It's younger students that's getting the knowledge. Okay. So but when they bro, graduate, they'll know, correct? But he just said, it might, be, the, he just said, it might be a content creator his age that is covering hip hop Hey, don't even have to be a high level that you could think of right now. And they don't even have to be bro, the of, bro, Why do you, you want to get name your one, The Look. fact that you can't name one proves his point, bro. bro, bro. Because there, there are no ones and there's not no point. He that, means, no point. that means that they're not into hip hop as much, bro. You're telling me the they're million. covering what's hot. For your They're team. not covering so, hip hop. Hear me out, hear me out. Joe Budden so, is going to cover hip hop. Hold on, hold on. Academics hold on. is going to break down hip hop. Hold on, hold on. Ebro is going to talk about hip hop. Hold on, hold on, All these people are going to talk about hip hop. Hold on, hold on, because they love hip hop and they come from that background. Hold on, hold on, so they have oh. to be old as fuck to be listening no, to No, I'm not. No, we just saying that the T-Rail. younger generation is I'm, not. They're, they're casual listeners. Hold on, hold on. The younger hold generation is running this. Everything that you're doing right now. So then, why can't you? Name, if we're running everything, why can't you name one other person that's breaking down hip hop my age? Yeah, other than Flacco, who Flacco breaking down drama, motherfuckers getting shot. Get the about fuck that. out, bro. We're not Get the fuck about, out. We're not talking and, about that. And do we think Flacco is a real hip hop lover? No. Man, that's fucking crazy that y'all would say that because these kids and these younger age know more than us. They're soaking up music way quicker than us. Like, and no, they're no running more. the game. No like, who the move. fuck are you think is streaming he, he this said, music? I, he, I think he Look, the generation. Who are you think is streaming the music and keeping this shit alive? Who you think is buying these tickets to these festivals? Who do you think is who, who do you think is our fan base? You think our fan base is thirty to fifty? Sorry, oh, are you, oh, wait, first of all, first of all, oh, first kids, of all, people don't give kids? a fuck. To, the, to, to be honest, people don't give a fuck about our hip hop opinions like that. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. They're not looking to us for hip hop. They're not. It's they a great argument, right? You're, they you're don't. absolutely right. Kids are buying the tickets, but Tyrell, that's more for vibes and having fun. I could go to an EDM concert and I know one DJ, but I'm gonna buy a festival. What festival y'all talking about? Rolling Loud? Only kids buying tickets? That's hell no. I said the majority. I've been a lot of festivals and it's thirty plus. The majority of what's running the game is always going to be the younger crowd. And they're casual listeners. They like to go rage and have fun. Who in your opinion? opinion, Who in your opinion is running the game? How are you going to tell me about my generation? That's what I'm trying I'm to I'm telling you about you because you are Hispanic and you only listen to, to corridos. You said this no, no, the no. <laughs> sick. That's why your ass is sitting right here are you with a- us. Because you only spoke for yourself and your homies. Damn. But it's a lot of motherfuckers Whoa. out there like you in your age that listen to hip hop and have hip hop knowledge and have done their research on this shit. And I can't <laughs> let you sit here and, and tell like all oh, my niggas, my homies don't know hey, shit. You name can't say that. Them. I, why would I name them? Because you don't know You them. can't name one. But I'm a That's your argument. And, 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 and you went low. And, <laughs> so, and, so, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, And you went low blow because you can't name one person. That's stupid as fuck. Name one. That's stupid as fuck. 
Name one for me. To, to, I'm talking about the majority Name of the world. somebody my age right now on the internet that's breaking down hip hop like the way Joe Budden yeah, and academics is breaking down hip hop. They they not doing it, and I wouldn't want them to do well, that. Let this be a lesson. You should never debate unless you have facts. I always yeah, say you, that. And I, would, <laughs> I have facts. And then, I have facts, y'all. Yeah, that's and it. I would never, and I would never do that, and I would never put that on a kid that's 22, 24 years old to be sitting out here debating on hip hop and breaking it down. But I'm not gonna say these kids don't don't have a love for hip hop and don't have it and call them cash and listen. Nobody said and they then, don't have love. It's just not the same type of love. Bring them niggas in like Ebro, or bring them in and tell them niggas. Oh yeah, you're a mumble rapper, nigga. You ain't gonna never make it. Are you this? You ain't gonna never make it because the, because the way our music, because the way we were trained and the way we listen to music ain't the same. That shit is trash. You cannot put that shit on these little kids and tell these niggas they ain't, they casual no listeners because bro. I know there are a lot of them out there and they probably bro. don't want to come out here because they'll be shot, no, no, they'll no, be judged, no, 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 and there'll be no, a no, lot no, of motherfuckers no, out here like that. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. These kids that you're talking about, yes, they're adults, right? And they're controlling the media that they put out. Young adults, yeah. Wait a minute. What are they what, putting out? Hold on, hold on. They're controlling the media that they're putting out. They have free reign to do e anything. Right now, it's a hot topic, this whole beef shit. So you see people like Kai Sinet giving their opinion on it. But for the most part, that's not what their platforms are built around, No, because bro. you know why? Because an older motherfucker will tell them you don't know how, shit. Wait, listen. How are you going to tell a grown-ass right man now if you're winning at a high level that you don't know shit? Man. Right now, Kai is going viral for throwing up gang signs, listening to this shit. It's a hip hop topic, but it's and every hot time right now. he talks, they call that nigga a streaming nigga. And every time he say something, oh yeah, the little okay, he, they little, little Twitch nigga. That's but cool. he the biggest nigga okay. in this Ac motherfucker. Ac academics he's talking about. Academics is a streamer, and he's at the forefront of, of, of this shit right though. now. He's older. It doesn't he's matter, bro. He's been doing it for a if, long time. If you're saying something about streaming, bro, you have Charlemagne calling him saying you're killing it right now. Joe Budden killing it right now. You are the new. You are the new mixtape. Bro, the streamers, whatever the way people are consuming hip hop music is the new media, bro. Mm -hmm. So if that's not how they're, they're and you know, in, the, in the way they're consuming new hip hop media and they going on Kai Sinat, right? They going on Kai Sinat, Nicki Minaj is I don't on that think, I don't think, and I don't all the bigger artists are going on there and they're consuming music. They want them niggas to listen to their music. I don't all think, the younger generation, because you know why? You got 60, 70, 80,000 people watching them. That's younger not, generation. And them niggas is consuming the hip hop. And you can't say it, sit there and say, oh, well, hey, y'all, y'all still don't know shit, but here, take the music. No, like, we didn't say no, you don't oh, know shit. Okay, okay, we didn't say okay. that they're casual hip hop listeners. They're not the people that are going to deep dive, You're going, break down the For past, nobody's saying the impact, for nobody's saying they don't have impact, fool. That's one. You see how that's, academics... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see how academics can break down? He'll say, okay, look, this beef came from this back then. He's going to bring up old videos, old news stories and shit like that. He's going to break it down layer from layer. That's why people are watching him to get that shit. You can't tell me there's not a young nigga out there that can't do Name that. them that's they're doing not, I it. I can't name them, but if they're... So that's there, a though, problem. That's if not you, a problem. Nigga, they don't want to do if it. Your Just because they're not nigga, doing it, that don't mean they're your not argument, there, If your argument is... These people are leading the charge, leading the charge, and they you are. can't name a then person. That's the case. Then it does the case. I'm leading the charge, bitch. You I got the most followers here. You are. The most followers. So then you can't you say are. I'm not important. You didn't even look at me. No, that's it. No, you're proof. <laughs> are you fucking crazy? You just why said, are you bro, what? Why are you what? Because I'm why you screaming? Bro, why are you screaming? Bro, you literally. And here we are. Your argument was. You're not speaking with facts. You're speaking with, on hold assumptions hold on, hold on, right now. Yes. Because that's what you said, right? No, no, no. We let you talk. We let you talk. Relax. Relax. If there's not a if there's not a young nigga out there breaking it down. Yes, there's not. I can't name one. Bro, you're not speaking right facts. Now. Who gives a fuck? But that's what I'm saying. Who gives a fuck to me? Who if you have an argument, then you give a no, fuck. No, I do. But your <laughs> argument. What, what is your point? Y'all proving to me. We proved the point that it's you can't not. name you a nigga. You tried to counter what he said. And you don't have no, you can't prove, you can't prove nothing you're saying is the way What you mean? There's, there's, you're there's, making there's, assumptions. Not, no, you're if saying, I'm not making assumptions, saying, there's, there's not a young nigga out there So where's the facts, t -Rail? But Flacco, that I know, I have a research. I said video. Flacco, you can't yeah. admit nobody. And I know, but that's fine. <laughs> but that, 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 doesn't, that, doesn't, that doesn't prove the point that there's not a young nigga out there that knows more than us in hip hop. And I bet you, when this shit comes on, there's gonna be a nigga in these comments that knows way more than us, younger than you, 
and he's gonna break this shit down just because I don't know him. Just because cool. I don't know him. But don't you don't know anything. him. That's just because cool. I don't know him don't mean anything. We're saying who is the people that is basing their platforms. You no, know, all put hip hop. You know, I show off. You know, all these type niggas. But yes, you know, there's, there's only a couple. Niggas. There's only a couple platforms that I only. They're the only I a couple show of platforms. Speed. I don't. Look, I don't watch that little nigga. I'm like T real right now. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, but we're not talking about hip hop for ISO speed though. There's only a couple hip hop platforms. Niggas, but you're out again. There's only a couple hip hop platforms, okay. and I don't even go to them niggas. Damn. I don't even. I don't even listen to that shit. I don't look at that shit. I don't. So say you. Are, so, so say you're a casual yeah, hip hop listener as well. Too. That don't mean. That don't so mean right I'm now. a casual hip hop listener because I don't look at this nigga platform for hip hop knowledge. Bro, nigga. you say we, we, we ask about. you. We ask you all the time. You, you know, say you don't listen to hip hop like that. About, you know was one you of the voices. You don't listen to rap like that. You know it's one of the voices of of his era right now, bro. The voices of a comedian of his era. Don't box him in. What are you talking about? Comedians, comedians. He's a hip hop podcast. But you said, but you just said Kai is leading the charge. He's he on the is. West Coast leading the charge for his demographic. Are you crazy? But you are you saying I'm not important? He's a to casual the West listener. Coast? He's a that casual is nuts listener nuts right now. He's a casual that listener. That is crazy. He's a I'm casual doing, listener. I'm doing what he, I'm, he's giving his opinion on hip hop, like everybody else is doing. Like Kaisenati. He's doing the same exact thing. I don't, y'all, are y'all points is y'all points is trash. What? <laughs> okay, <laughs> hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hold up, hold up, hear me out. Hold up, hold up. Would you agree? Would you agree that? Would you agree that some of your points are trash right now? No. <laughs> to right. to there's a point. There, look, hear me out, hear me out. There's a guy that out there smoking. that's younger than Duno right now okay. that has more hip hop knowledge than that's us. Not okay. Right now. We're saying name Just because I can't name him doesn't mean anything. So don't talk saying. about him. You can't that name mean anything. Basically, me. you're arguing. Oh, yeah. That yes, doesn't mean anything. The NBA me. is going crazy, but. There's somebody out there right now at a park that can play great that we just don't know about. Exactly That's basically how you sound right now, bro. Yeah, and it is. Like, so like, what? what that you're making an assumption. His whole thing is not His whole thing is not His whole thing is His era isn't focusing on hip hop as much as our era. Listen, if you're going to have an invested. argument, Bring us facts and support your argument. If you don't have facts and support your argument, that's what he's saying. Then my thing. All right, watch it. They're not as invested as our era. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Exactly. Hold on, hear me out, bro. How many? You named. Kai Sinat, I show speed. Um, Aiden Ross, right? Down around my age, right? Uh, yeah, I don't, and, and who? I show up. I, I show speed. <laughs> I, all these, who else? Who am I missing? <laughs> Fucking the whole AMP house, right? There's Damn. about 15 of us. These are 15 young black men, except Aiden Ross, right? 15. Maybe, name, maybe. Name, there's 15 out of all of them. Exactly. Name me, the, I gave you 15 people right now. They don't cover hip hop. No one cares. You're, what does that have to do with anything? You're proving our point. He's trying to tell you his generation isn't no. as invested in hip hop as our that's generation. That's all you have to listen to. You just said it right listen, now. There's, a, there's a guy in the world that's <laughs> a winner. We have a winner. We have a winner. Down, we have a winner. He's alive and he's going to be in the we comments. We have a winner, okay? He just he just proved his just take just this, this, point. Just because they're not doing <laughs> what academics are doing, that boy does not want to lose what I'm doing. See, real. Don't mean they're not as invested, dog. Just because they're not showing you that doesn't mean they're not invested. Bro, yeah. you just want to argue that, to argue right now. Oh, if you want to say on hip hop media, he, that's fine. Listen, dog, but you, what he said is, it, what he originally said is, he understands now, after seeing this, why we argue People like that so and talk about hip hop Because our this is his first time. Because that's him. No, this is his first time and everybody else's first time. <laughs> Being involved into a high profile beef, bro. And that's tight. But you can't say So that that's why people are covering but it. But you can't say their hip hop knowledge is zero. Watch this. And their casual We didn't say, say it's we didn't say hip hop knowledge dumb. is zero. We said I never they're not as zero invested it is as zero. our generation. Okay, so you prove, listen, you proved your own point. <laughs> you said they're 22, 23, they don't want to talk about no fucking hip hop. Your generation, <laughs> all you need, you probably need to pass. So hold on, no hold color no, TV. No, uh, hold on, 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 hold what you no, talking about? Not. Nigga, okay, Chicago no, rappers, no. who got shot? Who beefing? Chicago who rappers, he ain't that is all so about. Okay. Nigga, before Drake, nigga, and Kendrick, nigga, what was he breaking down? That we just was sitting there like, oh yeah, that's all right, crazy. Y'all, this guy's everything. Hear me like, out. This guy oh my god. Like, hear, yeah, what, like, before on. Kendrick and Drake, like what? Hear me out, bro. Hold on, hold on. He breaks down hold on, hold on. everything in music, bro. Like what? Hey, AD. 
Bro, people, uh, people snitching allegations, yeah, bro. That's, that's not, but he's that's, a, he's one of the only person that puts out the album sales, bro. We listen he to talks them. about the songs. He that's does right. listening parties, bro. He does everything. The artists, the artists are actually sending him records, bro. For Drake. Nigga, we, what we the talk fuck about before talking Drake. about, nigga? This is okay. Drake he's talking about. When you hear, when, most of the time, when you hear how many albums somebody sold, bro, you probably see it from academics hear tweeting that shit, bro. Hold on, hold on, baby. Hold on, Okay. Joe Budden. You guys, back on fake community, fucking um, waiting on them, fucking no jump. All these platforms, right? These are all ran by men that are thirty plus, thirty five plus, that are breaking down hip hop. And I'm not and breaking down hip hop on back on fig. Fuck, are you talking about? <laughs> This because of my age. What the fuck are you talking so, about? So then are you okay? All it, all so are you okay? every day is so not are you breaking a, down hip hop. So, so then are you okay? Monday and Friday, I'm not breaking down hip hop for fucking four hours. I'm not doing that. Stop it. So what we're saying and nobody is. Nobody else is doing that. Who's the young person that's doing Nobody's those things that's doing breaking that, down? But you can't say, oh, this nigga don't know about hip hop because he ain't breaking it down for Bro, you know what a casual hip hop person is? Out of, out, out, of the eight, out of the eight, hold on, hold on, out of the eight I named right now that are your fucking age, five of them are breaking down hip hop. Out of the 20 I named that are my age, none of them are breaking down hip hop. I'm proving my fucking point. You, you can't break point. down hip hop all fucking day, every day of the week, oh, nigga. Oh, yes, you can if that's your brand. If that's your brand, nobody is. Doing that all yeah. day. They not. They doing what we doing, bro. If you're commentating you about? on hip hop and hip hop related topics, bro, good content, great content. That's what they're doing. <laughs> there's some there's some cooking going on right now. Their whole identity is mostly hip hop music, bro. They talk about hip hop topics, bro. They talk about what's going so on in the industry. Too. So that's us too. Yeah, yes. we, we, we definitely follow so hip hop. We definitely yeah. follow so hip hop. Yeah, so that's us too. So yes. that's him. We, so that's him. We follow the hip hop. Technically, podcast. yes. yes. So I'm here doing this with us for like three years. I think. Bye. You shut the fuck up now. Why you don't know? What? Why you don't know? I don't know. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no point proven. No. No. There was no point proven there. There was no you point proven there. You worked that Power 106. We've been doing this shit for three, four years. Why you, you keep me? bringing up Power 106? I'm just asking you. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Hold on, 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 you should yeah. have the knowledge on hip hop. You should be doing the research. You should be doing all that. To, to I shouldn't sure, be doing shit because my role. To make sure, no, to make sure, to make sure your people. Hear me out. Okay. Like you should know what's okay. going on, right? Bullshit. Because I never played that role. I never came in this role and be like, oh, why the fuck did you want me on your show? Because of my personality and my sense of humor. I didn't do yes. it for hip hop. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right? Yes or no? Why the fuck you want yes. me? It wasn't for hip hop. I don't, I don't your personality. Know. If it was for hip hop, it would not be you as well. I don't know shit. <laughs> okay, exactly. So here you're a casual hip hop listener. So you're down near me, bitch. What you you the same as the dude. I just know another. And we're all the same. And but what I'm saying is go. there's a younger nigga out here that knows more than us. And here we go. Hear me out. Hear me out. And then, and then, hold on, hear me out. And then you said earlier, what'd you say? That's because you're Hispanic. No. Most, no, that's no, no, I, no, but you said you said you're Hispanic because you and your homies. Let's we can run it back. You said you and your homies. I'm mean, let's break that down. Yeah. I got homies that are Hispanic right now that don't give a fuck about Korea. What, <laughs> what, what moves <laughs> artists in the West Coast and LA don't make it without Latinos that are listening and buying tickets all fucking day? Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yes yeah, or no? So, younger, no. so they don't say Hispanic. Latinos, they're your age. So don't and say they can break up hip hop and they can break down hip hop. No, right casual now. listeners. You know who can break down hip hop? The Latino from the 90s, the, the homies that were going to the ice. How do you know if your homie can break down hip hop right now? How do you know? Because because we would have because we would be having this argument. We're not having this Duno, argument. Let me say we're listening. Duno. Like, Damn, that was crazy. All right, move Duno, on. Let me say one thing. Go ahead. Prime example, bro. I like some of the Spanish music, right? I don't even understand the fucking language, bro. The hits that come on the radio, the shit that you hear that you out, I am a casual listener of some of that music. I can't deep dive and tell you about the fucking well, Spanish music it. like that. Right but now, when we, cool when shit right now when we at six to sit down, six is a black man. man. Great. Hear me out. So you great. Hear me I'm out. a no, casual no, listener of Spanish music. You're great. Yes, you're I'm casual. I'm sorry we do I'm that. Correct. Correct. You're, correct. Correct. you're a casual listener, correct. I'm a pro. You a casual listener of hip hop. I am, I am. Correct, you're correct. Hear me out. Six is black, right? When you asked him to sit down, he didn't want to sit down. Six, be honest. You didn't want to sit down, you're like, six does more hip hop than you. Bullshit, he's black. <laughs> he's black. I didn't know about that, you. Sit down and answer the questions. 
But no, is it a waste of time because he's gonna be a waste of time when that's the point you're trying to prove? Hey, we're talking hip hop right now. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, it's a waste hey, of time. Hey, no. Which is fine, but but pun, I'm not gonna. Uh, uh, but I'm saying, yo, yo, listen. You the don't brand, even know that. The, you probably could. No, you can't. Nah, nah, nah. The brand, <laughs> the brand that six is, the brand that six is pushing is the same shit that a lot of young niggas is doing. Right. His brand that he's pushing is. Young nigga shit doing these 24 hour streams doing that. He doesn't care about breaking down the shit. He's a casual listener. He, he likes, likes the, the drama shit because it's popular. Once this popular shit is gone, he's probably not gonna talk about shit like that no more. And, and, and if we're talking, hold on, hold on, hold on, six, hold on, six. And, and if we're talking about why do I know hip hop when I worked that part, man, there's six <laughs> motherfuckers on Joe Budden podcast right now. Do each one of them could break down hip hop like Joe Budden can? Or 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 but are some of them based? No, we I'm wouldn't going, know that. But you're gonna give them respect no, because that nigga, they're older. Ice, that nigga Ice tweets that shit off. Fucking these niggas really do. They come from that era, bro. You and Melissa that? Ford was a fucking video vixen the whole fucking time. She knows all these rappers personally, bro. These niggas are hip hop. They're a part of the culture. And I'm, right. that, that has to be one that doesn't care. Okay, <laughs> you know they gotta be. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, hey, the music, the music is loud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I don't hear something right here. <laughs> no, bro, but all we're saying is is that niggas is casual listeners. His generation didn't have nothing that's that popular when it comes down to c- competition and beef. Correct. So right now, Correct. everybody is covering it because it's hot. Correct. And I'm a Their here. platforms are not Correct. built around that. Correct. The older Correct. people that are leading the hip hop charge right now when it comes to hip hop media, they're all over 30 plus. Correct. There's no younger people right now that is doing that shit at a high hip, level. In the hip hop media, correct. I get but what, I get I'm what take, but, I'm a, but I'm gonna take up for all the younger motherfuckers that definitely know about hip hop. I get what you're saying. And definitely study this shit and definitely know more than us and definitely can teach us some shit. That's why motherfuckers hop in these comments. That's why motherfuckers be in, that be in, uh, that's gonna be in this, in this live. I'm gonna definitely take up for y'all because a a lot of y'all do know and as an older motherfucker i'm not gonna tell you who you are what you are and tell you how you listen to music and tell you you're a casual casual or whatever the fuck that is i'm not gonna sit here and tell you that just because i don't know your name and know who you are that's just my opinion that's what i'm saying that's all i was saying okay but bro what's your let me talk let me talk what you're saying is out there in the world it. Out there in the world, there are kids who are students yes. of the game who knows about. Yes, I understand that aspect, but you see where y'all getting across that. He's saying right now it's not as trendy as, mm-hmm. in their generation as our generation. Otherwise, it would be podcasts in his age demographic that exist that are about hip hop. And, and he said, "Name one." But I, but, but I would. But say, I get but, what you're saying. But yeah, out there and, in the world, and, and, yes. I, and I would say just because you know it was trendy back then. That's why I'm a podcaster. That I'm not a podcaster because I went through hip hop rap no. beef. I don't give up. I wouldn't. I didn't get there. I didn't start doing this shit because of hip hop rap beef and but the, we the, have the, the shit knowledge. I went. We have we, the knowledge. I've been through it. You feel me? But it's it's so many more niggas uh, that know more more than me. You know what I'm saying? That soaked up more than me in this hip hop shit. But I'm not doing this shit because of the the hip hop knowledge I got, nigga. I just I just love to talk and have fun and, and do and do shit on all topics, not just yeah. hip hop. Not just hip hop, you feel me? But I'm not gonna sit here and say these younger niggas are they just casual listeners and just shun you niggas. I'm not gonna do that. But T real, the same thing, right? Nigga, I don't watch I just start watching sports, right? Would you take sports advice from me? A nigga that's not really going to deep dive and no, yep. no, no, you're not. Bro. Yes, I will. If you start watching sports two weeks, bro, look, you I'm not go. going to deep dive. I'm not deep it diving the sports. You're not gonna tell I'm me. sitting there looking at a sheet, but it don't I'm matter. Making, I'm look. looking at, I'm looking at shit, and I'm watching casual games, bro. I'm a casual sports watcher, bro. I'm not an expert on but sports. If you, you I can't be tell you sport. about. Listen, you know you, I can't tell you about the past with sports. I can't, I can't deep dive when I it comes either. down to that. I'm not going to tell you what I, happened in 1975 at US. See, nigga, but uh, some game, people make their the whole playoffs, subject nigga, matter with OJ Simpson. sports, I'm not and gonna they tell can that. tell you that shit. Duno has more sports knowledge than I, than I do. You do. He does. I can't sit there and say I'm a I'm a fucking sports analyst, bro. No, I'm not, nigga. I have to. I haven't done no research when it comes down to that. I'm a casual watcher of sports. I like watching the games. I like watching the playoffs, bro. That's what I like to do, bro. 
Other than that, there's nothing else when it comes that's down you, to that. And that's fine. And they, but that's, and that's most perfectly of the people, fine. But that's most people and when I'm it not comes gonna down tell, I'm not gonna, to hip hop, bro. And, and I'm not going to put that shit. on. And I'm not going to put that on most of the people his age. I'm not going to put but that on. But if you're looking for expertise, I'm not why would you go on. to a nigga that's a casual? It don't make no sense to you, real. It don't. If you how to, and that's how like going to a, that's like going to a doctor, bro, who specializes in surgery, and you say, well, this nigga, he he knows a little bit about the surgery. I'm going to go get surgery from him. Okay, so it's the same shit. Okay, so why am I? Using your prize speech code, then because why I'm am I using, using your winnable code? Because that, that, I'm that, using <laughs> we're using that tools mean, that is giving us knowledge, bitch. You know this, yeah, and you're studying, so I that's would take not your advice. studying. I would take your advice, dog, because you're studying, you can study this shit. You can study and I'm gonna take your advice now you win it. Nigga, this is nigga, this is this is studying. The last two games. Just because you're old and listen, you're young doesn't mean I can't. The last get knowledge 10 games, you. he did this, right? And these people and these different sports books say that this is what this person is going to do. Just because somebody is giving me the information does not make me an expert on the sports. There's some people that watch all that shit, bro, that can tell you years and years about this quarterback. They don't know. Oh, these weather conditions is like this. This is this. This is that. They know all of that stuff, bro. I'd rather you go listen to them for that shit. I'm going to get shit based off of the information that's given to me. So I that's it. So I shouldn't listen to you. Um, I will listen to a nigga that's almost seventy thousand up on price. Points. Exactly. So I'm gonna listen to you because you know more. But than not this for nigga. sports advice. You know, you know, you know more than this nigga that's been doing this shit over no, here. I'm gonna don't. listen to you. I'm, I'm gonna getting, listen to you. I'm getting people giving me the information. That's not the same as me having the knowledge, bro. People are giving them the information. How you think they're getting it off Google? Somebody gave it to them. Somebody wrote it. It's so that there. makes so, so, I'm a, so I'm a sports expert then. If yeah, you say it, I'm a real you are. All right, I'm a sports expert. 70,000, right? I'm a sports expert. 70,000, right? I'm a sports expert. Where are expert. At, you are. I'm a sports expert. Where are we at now? Let's let's bring it in. Let's, let's wheel it in. Shout out to Prize Picks. <laughs> Where are we Download at? Download the app and use code <laughs> FMW to double your deposit. Get a 100% deposit match for up to $100 for all first-time depositors. Oh, man. Right now, it's the NBA playoffs, and we've been getting to the chili. Here are some picks for today and tomorrow. Run it up. <laughs> um, I'm going under... On turnovers for Derek White from the Celtics. Okay. I'm going under on turnovers for Aaron Gordon for the Nuggets. All right. Under on Kyrie on rebounds. Over on Al Horford. Horford for rebounds and assists. I'm putting these picks in. Let's make some money again and use code FMW and get a 100% deposit match for up to $100 for our first-time depositors. Shout out to Prize Picks. All right. Shout out to Prize Picks, man. Woo! All right, man. That was a great debate. Well, you know what I mean? Let us know in the chat who won that one. T-Rail or Duno. You know what I mean? That was a great cook-off right there. I liked it. You know what I'm saying? We need more yeah. conversations like I that. I haven't done that in a while. My head started hurting. That was good. That Your was head good. started hurting because you're screaming. <laughs> you said who? I said his head hurt because you're screaming. It happens in a heated debate. Niggas raise their voice. But just because you raise your voice don't mean you're right. Y'all. Remember mm-hmm. that, guys. Yeah, a, a, a prime example, Ma. <laughs> and sometimes when you uh, example, when you speak, please have facts. Yeah, have facts, please. Have facts to support your argument. Yeah. Um, it's, like, mean, it's like it's like it's like coming to a gunfight I mean, with no bullets. Yeah, you could you, you could say that because, because you, you could say that because you're wrong, but that's okay. So we will see what you niggas are saying. You can't come to a gunfight with no bullets, guys. Yeah, exactly. Uh, based on who was proving the most points and and in their debate, I'm voting do no. no. Do not want because it was proven points. We'll see now, what the majority T-Rail, of the world T-Rail says. T-Rail has, I get it, what T-Rail is saying, but when Duno was calling him out on some things, he couldn't counter. Yeah, we'll, we'll, see, what, we'll see what the majority of the debate. world says. Man. In the art of debate, do not want. I agree. Now, T-Rail go back and study what he was arguing. Do you come back and argue and he come back week? with the facts, it's over for you. Because <laughs> that's what he didn't have. That's why he lost. So if I would have named five niggas his age, Boom. I was speaking. Yo, now you, you would have named one. Now you would have made him look like, oh shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's fine, but I know cut. they out there. I don't know their names. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's fine. so in this debate, you lost. Not saying you're wrong. You just had the facts. And now I, if you come back with the facts, you will win probably. You know what? what? And I mean? I'm not gonna. I, I ain't gonna come back with the facts. I'm gonna let. I'm gonna let the people do it. Y'all name five people his age that's breaking down hip hop. Hip hop shit right now at a high level. Yeah, that's doing it up. Cause right now I still don't. I'm not getting any hip hop knowledge that, on a high level from none of these niggas. I'm so, not even gonna let <laughs> lie to you right so, now. Yeah. So let me so let me ask you. Other than the homies <laughs> and yourself, who do you watch like podcast wise? Who do you look at? You know to to, to consume your media. 
to consume our media, I look at Destiny. I look at Joe Rogan. I look at uh, I look at Joe. I look at um, I look at Joe. Uh, Destiny and Joe Rogan for hip hop. No, I'm just. You said podcasting. No, he, he didn't say hip hop. No, I said like consuming your media. Like who do you yeah, listen to? Yeah, my media, nigga. He didn't media? say hip hop. I mean, most of the media we cover is what? I mean, bullshit and hip hop, right? Oh, but it's oh, just okay, it's just hip hop topics. But this is the niggas that I listen to, though. You, feel oh, you gotta me? be more specific with the okay, question. Yeah, more yeah, specific. Yeah, I be yeah, listening. Yeah, I be listening. Cause, cause. Because I watch sports podcasts. I watch like podcast pieces. So if you say media when it comes to sports, I watch a lot. Of, I watch more sports pod. But, saying, but saying, hip-hop. Okay. You're saying what, where do we consume our information that we bring to our media yes. to talk about it? Oh, well, how, why do we know what yes. we're talking about? Okay, that, that, where are we getting our information from oh, that, that we can talk about? This? Carefully There's not doing. one nigga that I could just be like, oh, let me go here and let me see what he talking about and then see his facts. You don't know at all? See his facts and then come back. It's not. I look at him, but he's not just the... I'm going to single him out. Like, so I look at person, everybody. We're just saying, well, some of the places you go to. Like, for, us, for us to speak on these topics, we have to have some sort of knowledge. Where are we getting the knowledge from? That's some research. Some sort of research. Yeah, Google. but when you do research sometimes, most, look, there's a lot Google. of people on, there's a lot of people on YouTube you don't that look break up on down Google all type who, of shit, bro. For, for you to look up on Google, who fucking snitched on a Google's bad ass. Nigga, it can, be, it, can be Insta- it can be Instagram. It can be an Instagram slide of information and shit like that. Like, shout out to uh, Grand Wizard Chat. Like, chat nigga. I be looking at his shit. That sounds like a crazy ass name. That's his name. Grand Wizard Chat nigga. Uh, I look I look at his shit. He be making slides of certain topics and shit like that. You can get basic lines from shit like that. I you love the slides. They're funny, but I'm not finna go. I'm, I'm not looking at them for all the hip hop. Or like when we on community or back on fig, right? We'll have uh, uh, Instagram saved or something like that. We'll bring that up. And we'll sit there and react to that shit live, or we'll look at it before, and we'll get a brief understanding of what we're talking about. I mean, right. it just, it's basically just news, and whoever got the news article first and writing and, and, and writing the title of it, I mean, we just looking at it, we're going to break it down like that, but still, we don't know if it's true, unless we go to Google and do it ourselves. So but there's no podcast that crazy. you look at, like, for instance, something like this, right? This is the biggest moment in hip-hop for us right now. There's none of these people that's at the top of the game right now that you're watching their content while they're breaking down these beats. Send the you know the hidden only messages nigga I'm and shit break like that. Down, only nigga I'm looking at to break down anything off of here, and the only nigga that's breaking down anything when it's some B shit or some high shit is academics. And now that I'm a, I'm gonna be on there right with him, doing the same shit he doing, trying to figure out what he figuring out. It, it, he just doing this basic knowledge shit that niggas don't feel like that's doing. That's not basic knowledge, it's bro. It's basic shit that niggas don't feel like doing. Press Google. What happened? Oh, TMZ said this. Oh, these niggas said this. Oh, let me go to this YouTube page. These niggas said this back a, a year ago. So what you're this doing with academics that niggas, is mediocre? This is they basic shit that niggas don't want to do, and he's but doing it real, for us. You said you're not doing it. I'm doing it now. Today? No, nigga, but yeah, today too. So but, this whole so this whole coverage of Drake and Kendrick. I'm not going to look at Joe Buttons for a breakdown. No, no, no. no. I'm not saying looking at them. Did you break down any of the beefs, any of the any of the the missing entendres and shit that, that went over people's heads? Any of some of the sayings over there? Are you just listening to it I and giving did, your opinion? I, I kind of did a little bit, and I kind of did that shit last night, nigga. I was on uh, kick last night. Follow me, TRL BOF. I was over there, and I was on Discord last night. I was doing that shit with Six and Pot Lord, and we was going back and forth with different things and listening to different YouTube <laughs> things. Uh, you don't want to give YouTube back shit and all that, huh? You don't want to give back the I dig. I said I only listen to him. I oh, only, okay. yeah, I, like, I only, I, said, I only fuck with I academics. I only research shit like yeah, but that's no, no, no. But, but I only no, listen. But he just I only when he does his basic information. You said it's Google. 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 I mean, look, technically, T. Rail's not wrong about that. You could Google all this information because that's what he's, he's doing. He's doing it right but, in front of us. But nobody is sitting there doing the actual research. They're listening to the song. This is dope. This is tight. Oh, I feel this is about to happen. Nobody is going back doing the research like academics. He just he broke down the whole new whole king and how and that's the, and that's because he's black too but he's not he's not the only nigga doing that because when, when bro, you go see that shit I was looking at it. a lot of white people doing the same thing that he was doing yes. too that was coming across but, okay but you know what made the war in Chirac even though you know what I'm saying that was a different time he got a lot of slack for 
the war in Chirac, bro, he broke down everything that was happening in the Chicago scene. He was giving them names, bro. He let you know about the players, and he was the only person that was delivering that type of information, bro. That's what made him special to begin with. So he's doing the same thing when it comes down to this beef right now. He's saying lines. He's bringing up old videos and shit that people and had good. no prior knowledge him. to. I'm not taking away nothing from that. I'm good. That's, I'm, I'm, that's good. I, I love that. I'm well, not taking away from nothing. You don't think Joe Budden breaking shit down? No, I'm not going to Joe Budden's and Flacco and and Vlad and say cheese to see who breaking them down. Like that's who I don't care about to break anything down. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I'm going to Joe Budden's, I just want to hear his opinion on what's going on. Just like niggas want to hear our opinion of shit that's going on too. You feel me? Like they just want to hear our opinion, and, and I love that. But again, you feel me? Like I'm not going. There. Yeah, yeah, we, no. yeah, whatever. I ain't even gonna. I ain't even gonna get into that. But. I ain't even gonna get into that though, but fuck it though. Uh, nah, so I'm, I'm not them. Sure, sure you, you know what I mean? Oh, 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 they're gonna give us a, a lot of young niggas that's gonna break down hip hop when this Bro, shit comes we're on. Saying at a when this high, shit comes on, we're saying at a high level. At a high level, doesn't and the mean, fact that you could have named one because, let you know, look, bro. That's because I'm just on this shit. I just got on this shit. Zoom I just in. got on social media. I mean, not social media. I just got on this um, bullshit. You've been like doing this. it for three years, but not on this level though. Where I'm researching shit, trying to figure out what's going on, trying to figure out my facts and shit like this. And these debates and that y'all saying I'm losing, and, but there's and gonna that's be why. they're gonna be. But but there's gonna be a multitude of young niggas out here that's breaking down hip hop. They go on YouTube, and I guarantee you. Please name them. I guarantee. You. Okay, T. Real going forward with the with, I, with the trajectory of back on fig, right? Amen. Do you see yourself? Yes, exactly. Do you see? You. Do you see yourself? Yeah. Do we you see yourself you. going forward now? You're going to every hip hop beef or any hip hop topic that comes now. You're going to do your due diligence and break it down like academics now. Yes, and then when I get here um, on Wednesday <laughs> next week, from the information that you guys are going to give me, you feel me? I'm going to have 20 young motherfuckers that's Ooh, his yeah. age. There you go. The One million subscribers are fact. over hey, probably. And you know what? And, you, know, and you, you want to know what? You're going to learn after this debate because you didn't yeah. know what you was talking about so today. I, but I am. So it's going to prove my point that I did know what I was talking hey, about. I just didn't know y'all names. Mm -hmm. No. In a court Watch. of law, it's not what you know. It's what, it's you, what you can prove. Yeah. And you couldn't prove nothing right now. Way debate. And you know in a it's court of law. You can prove. Hold on. Hold and you know what happens in a court of law? Maybe I might lose today, but I'm coming back to court tomorrow. I just told and when you, I'm right? coming back to court tomorrow, <laughs> I'm gonna beat the <laughs> shit out you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna beat you down. You feel me? Like so that's Chirel. fine. If that if y'all want those facts and y'all want me to have those names, hey. I'm gonna beat the shit Chirel, out you Chirel, Chirel. next Wednesday. Hey, I'm gonna make sure going forward that you consume their content. Don't just do it for your argument. Why not? Due diligence. Go do your due diligence and research. And come but, back but, next week and cook this nigga. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. But you're up, but you're up. Why are you facts, saying bro? that you've been studying for how long? How long have you been? I've been paying studying attention? shit. No, that's what you said. You said I've been paying attention. I've been paying attention for now. How for how long? For how long? I've been on kick, nigga, for about a month, nigga. So in a month, you haven't. No, no. We didn't say kick. You said the whole hip hop and the breaking down shit. You just how said, yeah, now I'm studying like yeah. you like academics. Yeah, yeah. how long? How long? Yeah. So, how long so that's about, about, a, so that's about, about a month. Oh, about yeah, a month. about a week. Yeah, now I ain't going to say it, that. No, it's been like a month. It's been like a month. <laughs> I'm going to see it like so, a week. So in a month. I'll say like three days. <laughs> so in a month, you haven't. So in a month, you haven't thought one kid my age that broke down hip hop? I've never heard that. Maybe two hours. In a month. No, well, let's just say a month. Let's just put two months on it. I wasn't looking for a kid your age to break down hip hop. I was just going. I was just going to what I know. I ain't looking for nobody twenty four. Oh, let me find somebody twenty three, twenty four. Why? 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 I was just why? going why? to what hold I on, know. Why? Why wouldn't you get information from a twenty three, twenty four year old to you? I would, you but I wasn't no. looking for him. But why though? What you mean why? I'm going to what's easy. Who have for you me? been reacting to when you go on stream and you guys hop on this phone calls on Discord? Who have you been reacting to and talking to? AD and, and academics, yes or no? Yeah, because that's what I'm used to. <laughs> that nigga don't want to take this L. No. He will not take the L, bro. It's no L. He down on that hill. <laughs> I'm gonna for sure die on the hill for all y'all that's 22, 20 to 24. Shut the hell up. I'm dying on the hill with y'all. That's a theme See, of this whole hip hop. They want me to shut up. He that's why. T Real want to help you underage motherfuckers. Yeah. They, they, they say, right, look, oh, hey, they say y'all dumb. He be on T Real. Y'all cats gonna listen to me. He's trying to get a kick following, cat. That's what he's doing. He's trying to be Peter Pan to kick. Hey, follow me on T Real. You shouldn't have been following LL Cool J, man. He's trying to follow me on speed. Shit. Follow me on and Follow me on Follow me on And, and, and for the, make it very clear Nobody so said They were done We just said They're casual listen. Oh, that, yeah, that's, that's even more That's even crazier 
Dumb and casual is crazier? Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all think it's funny, man. Nah, that was a good debate. But next week, I think you're going to go back. You know, next week, I'm going to go back. I'm and saying it's gonna you're going to research next week. You're going to come back. But it's going to be so shit. dumb, right? Look, because the next week, I'm going to come back on Wednesday. I'm going to have at least five niggas. That's his age, mm -hmm. right? And then all that shit I just said was true. That's stupid. No, it's not. Because you can't name one right now that's doing it at a high level. You could have easily cooked them. You know where you lost that? Is that you couldn't name everything else? You was right but that's there fine with them. But, but I don't have was to, coming with some shit. To me, I don't have to know them, but I know because I know they're out there. If you're, you're going to debate it, if I am, well, yeah. But he just brought that up randomly. But I, was it the, wasn't. It wasn't like oh, I'm going to debate. So why have the was, argument if he wasn't ready to argue? It wasn't because it, he just brought that up randomly. So but you just wanted to argue. If I come in that's for the debate, debate. <laughs> look, it's just, if I come in on a debate, nigga, we know what we finna debate about. And I got my facts. He got his facts. Man, it's easy, buddy. But right now on the spot, he he was more equipped with facts. You didn't have no facts, so who lost the argument? He just said he didn't know nothing. Who but lost that's the facts. argument? That's no, I, I didn't lose nothing. His main, so argument, words his main argument, argument was there's nobody his age range that's doing that this at a, a high level. Is that a fact? Yes or no? Prove uh, us wrong, T-Rail, right now. Is it a fact? Yes Prove no? us wrong I'm right now. I'm asking you a question. Oh, my God. Do you know if that's a fact? Yes or no? He can't name as them. As of right now, listen, As of listen, right now, do you I, know if listen, that's a fact? as of right now, in y'all debate, it's a fact unless you can prove it wrong. Exactly. Because in the world, in the world, it. that's not a fact. So in, to the world, that's not a fact. But yeah, right now, y'all debate. Right. If this is a debate for money, okay, for a million dollars, y'all have to debate. Do no one. You, do uh, of, course, one of course, because I didn't come equipped with my shit. So that's what I'm saying. About, so y'all debate. I didn't come equipped either. This was a random argument. y'all debate. Do no one. It's a fact. So in the world, correct? In the world, it's, it's right. tons of young niggas that know hip hop. So in the world, I'm right. Yes, nigga. And this is gonna be it's, the world when it's premiered. It's tons of world of niggas that so know hip hop. I won. It's no, you don't. Oh my god! It's like it's like Pun just said. <laughs> aliens exist. Aliens Bro, exist. Uh, this is, I, 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 can you prove aliens exist? You can give a lot of research, but can you technically prove aliens exist? No, what the fuck are we talking about aliens? No, we it's talking the about same, Bro, it's the same thing. You're no. talking about this is my argument the whole time. you hear have me. no facts to support your argument, bro. Hear me out, hear me out. This is my, this is my argument the whole time. And he didn't either, but you believe him, though. But that's cool. Let's go to the next topic, though. He made some good points. Yeah, he made, <laughs> he some, he made some good points, but they did, They weren't factual. So let's go over here. Was let's yours go. factual? Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Was yours factual? Said, nope, so we both I, lost, man. I, I lost that talk about hip-hop. So it's a tie. <laughs> it's a tie to Wednesday. <laughs> no, I gave you 20 motherfuckers. Okay, we're going to do it like this. Everybody in the chat, um... Put a somebody make the comment a like button for Duno and a like button for T Rail. Who won the argument? That's and, fine. And, and then can, after that, put in the bias. comment five niggas that's his age that indulge on hip hop. We I can do a quick non-biased opinion right now. Yes. No, not the four that's sitting right here. Six. Who won the debate? Oh, he got fired. He gets your lashes. I used to. Who won this debate? Dude, you won for this shit. Who won this debate? Don't be biased. Who won? I feel like we all won. Oh, you was a hoe. Oh, you was a hoe. Hey, hey, Rue, who you feel won? All right, Duno. Duno, Rue, who you feel like won this uh, uh, this debate? <laughs> yeah, he was on his phone. <laughs> Never mind. He had some shit going on on this phone. Y'all said yeah, you just got to bring the facts. That's yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, that, that's fine. I got to bring the facts, whatever. That's fine. <laughs> I'm going to take that. I, that's cool. Can you name him right now? You 24? I just turned 24, yeah. Yep, he 24. For sure. How many subscribers this young man got? A million. He got a million? All right, cool. Don't even worry about it. I don't even want to see this shit because they going to bring it up in the comments. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, but <laughs> they going to say something but else. But in a debate, that wouldn't count, like, you know what I mean, what they're coming with an hour later. Like, you lost the debate. In a heated debate, you lost it. I, I lost him. Somebody bringing up some. I didn't. I didn't know these young podcasters' name. That's yeah, fine. Yeah. So next time, really, yeah, what I really, I what I really want to do is, yeah, he don't either. So what I really want to do is, I, I need to study these young niggas too. That, there we that go. Be, you know, now you're gonna do, 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 do it. Now you're gonna do academics. That's does. fine. You know what I mean? That's that's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna I'm do that. I'm, I'm gonna do what I can do. Yeah, they got nah. me. They got me. They got me. If I yeah, shit on every you. young streamer, he got you. He got you. Nah, I ain't gonna shit on y'all. Let that be a lesson. Moving forward. Come with your ammo. Come with your ammo. How your bullets? All right. All right. All right, that was good. That was a good one, man. That was a great debate, man. That was a great debate. I'm interested in seeing what uh what what the comments, what they think. Okay, let's get on to the whole little <laughs> shit, because I can definitely move on. Don't worry about nothing. Joe Button and the podcast crew dance to not like us. And that shit was funny as fuck when I was uh looking at that shit. The 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 funniest part was because I'm old as a bitch. 
when he got up, he started dancing, and then when he sat down, he was tired. Cause I'll be tired as fuck. The last two, three times I didn't dance to this shit. I was waiting for Drake to get shit on. Nigga. One time. To be fair. Bro, they were they were waiting for the day Drake been shitting on them for years. Hey, this nigga Queen's flipping making dumb videos. <laughs> dancing to hey, shit. hilarious. Funny as hell. When that nigga tore that room down, dog, <laughs> that shit was so fucking funny, dog. Are they are they on ice? Who they? Who they? They messing well, you with? You think Joe Budden ain't finna be celebrating? That nigga been on Joe Budden line, nigga. They broke. And they, and Ice, was, Ice has been more on the side of Drake, and he's been, you know, he tweets a lot too. Mm, Which is Ice? The Jeez? Um, the ones that left, always that left. See, I, oh, I, I, I can't see. Ball, I can't ball see. guy. And see, Child he, Ice, I like that. I like that. That's the one that Joe Budden fucked this bitch. No, that's oh, ish. The one I'm 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 I love, I love <laughs> the fact that people are hearing this song from other regions and. The first thing it's making them do is either crit walk or throw a gang sign. Yeah. You seen Kyle? That's, Kyle was over. That's like telling us what you think about our music. <laughs> yep. Hey, hey. <laughs> Welcome to the West Coast, buddy. I'll our, take it. We, we about to be number one on uh, that's Billboard. That's what y'all think about our music. I love, that he, stood, I love that he stood on that hill, though. You feel me? He, though, he was going for Drake. He was doing his thing. Oh, this shit was viral there. on Vic's. On Vic's play. Shout out Vic, Rosecrans Media. Look at Kites and that. Rosecrans Media is Vic shit? Yeah, yeah, that's him. I thought it was the Rosecrans E&T homies. No, no, that's Vic shit. Rosecrans Media? <laughs> I don't bug that. That lets you know that Coxon is watching West Coast because he knew all the gestures of what to do. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? He's watching what to do. Look at that C. That's a chunky C. Yeah, he knew what he was doing. <laughs> he said, hey, he's like, he just like me. Chunky C. You know what look at him, look at him, look at him. <laughs> nah, nah, he definitely did some wool shit too, though. Like, he did like some New York shit, huh? That's why Vic was like, I feel like y'all I mean, he's from New York. They be, they be, they be banging, stacking. They be doing all that. What does that shit do when they do it under their nose? What is that? I know, that's a, I, I never understood that. that. That's the slime shit. That's the young thug shit? That's the blood shit, yeah. Oh, that's some blood shit? Yeah. <laughs> that wipe your nose. That's that slime shit. Hey, that's fucking crazy. That guy did some shit. That's funny. That's not our guy. That he did shit. He practiced it before he did it. He practiced it. He brought the camera off. He in the mirror. Hey, hey, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, hey, hey. I ain't gonna lie. You would have... But you would have met me at 16. I knew how to stack because all my black homies in the halls. I knew how to this. Bro, what? Yeah, I knew how to gang bang at 16 all the black hoods. Show it us. Was... <laughs> Off camera. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Show what? Us. You got to prove it. Otherwise. You got to prove it. Otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I, I ain't going to lie, bro. I, a, bro, I, I ain't going to lie. There's a foot next to me from Bounty Hunter. And we used to just sit there, just clown all day. And he used to be like, bro, I'm going to teach you all these things. And it was just, I, was just, I was just like, all right, cool. Like, that was a homie, you know? Hey, yo. And he oh, just, used to just shit. go crazy. I used to be like, oh, my oh. God. I'm like, how'd you come up with that one, buddy? <laughs> yeah, we don't want to know what he was dissing. This is a crazy um, story. No, no, no. What I'm saying is when you're in the hall, especially us being Latinos, to us it's like, oh, you're going crazy. Yeah, you no. should go back to being a casual. <laughs> hey, you know what? I, I don't like niggas that, that be throwing up Yo. fuck other niggas sets in, the, in pictures and shit. I'd be like, hey, you know you, y'all you just throwing up their hood. All, everybody in this motherfucking picture just threw up their hood. Even though you got a middle finger or whatever. I'd be like, y'all niggas dumb. Y'all not, y'all not even throwing up your own hood. Why you sitting on the young fools, dog? Why you still let them do their thing? Yeah, yeah. Old nigga, why? Yeah. why? Why? I didn't say it what age they was. Why no, you said you fools? literally said young niggas. Young minded. Why you shitting on them young niggas, man? Man, shame on them niggas. Uh, let them gang bang in peace. <laughs> Christian, <laughs> Christian, Christian, Rock, Christian Rock was some highlights from our first pro game, man. I guess you went out there to play football. Too, That's man. what I don't give a fuck about. <laughs> Move yeah. on, buddy. Who the fuck picked this topic? No, yeah. no, hey, she was chunky shit, though. Look. Is that her? That shit like a high school final. That's look. her? Bam! Oh, shit. Oh, what shit. the hell? Oh, Is she playing against girls or niggas? She not playing back. against girls, bro. Fucking shit, run back. Yeah. That's her. Well, I know she was athletically like in track and all that before Blueface. She was in sports. Yeah. And she did uh, like the uh, Olympian shit on TV before. Ain't uh, no way she is playing. She's athletic as fuck. Is no, this no, all it's girls? a girl league. It's a girl league. Oh, she girl busts league. shit. She feel like a dog Oh, she going crazy. Shout out Krishan. Damn. I would expect that. nice. Like her behavior, bro. I would expect <sighs> Yeah, she There's a gang that. of girls and even that girl Smiley from Baddies is on there. Mm. Playing football? Yeah, they ain't see the lineman. Wait, are these all women? Yes. And tackle? Yes. yes. Interesting. For the pro league. Oh. Well, they have a lot of they have they doing I that with younger they, girls I too. I wonder right how now. much chili they gave her to do this. They doing that with young girls right now too. They yeah, got chili like they played at a random high school in Cathedral. Oh, that's that Cathedral. 
It's oh. literally at Cathedral High. Oh, she planted that bitch, too. She purposely running into these bitches. Damn. Yeah, she trucking shit. Damn, she already fucked up in the head. Now you're giving her CTE. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Damn, Blueface. It might work backwards. We need to give Blueface all his props, man, for doing what he did for them young ladies, even Fool. though it was crazy. Mm-hmm. He fucked that was her up wow, bad. Bro. She like, was a college star. He didn't now fuck she her up. You think so? She was bro, a she college track star. I was, there right when, I was there that first season, bro. She was already gone. Luz Cruz? Hey, where'd she come from? She from the bad girls, uh, blue girl shit. Yeah. She was oh, one of the girls. Oh, on blue girls. That's how she popped off. She was one of the okay. girls. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. He so definitely yeah, made yeah. a career, though. So yeah, you got to give credit to... Uh, 100%. The blue face, then, for sure. Look, kids, if you sell drugs, the FBI might send you to a, a remote location, man, instead of a regular prison like the orange jumpsuits, No, man. those are drug lords. These ain't the niggas that sell nickels and dimes and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, you know what a dick. <laughs> yeah, the nigga trying to make his own money, y'all niggas, nigga. Like they're just moving Don't you around? Don't shoot nobody, just like sell the drugs. Well, like I said, they want you to be an asset for the government. And They're like, nigga, you want to get you want to get life, or you can give us some information, give us some other drug dealers and shit like that, work for us, and then we'll yeah we'll figure some shit out. That's I don't basically what it I is. don't know I why f- former undercover agents decide to come out and talk on camera with their face she after die, being for the smoke yeah, ass. like after being wait, undercover wait, wait, so long by remote like, wait by remote you mean they have them like somewhere in a secret ass fucking island? Yeah. Yeah. Basically, like, they only got to be an island. They be having them ducked off different cities and shit. Yeah, different Just, places. Same shit though. In the you woods is freaky. Yeah, exactly. In the woods is freaky. Yeah, freak they get shit. intel. Cartel get info on where you at. They it's coming. over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They coming. So you got to keep moving them niggas around. Yeah. 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 Man. Yeah, it was kind of like the rapping game. Everybody. I be feeling like that shit is some bullshit sometimes, though. Undercover's coming out saying different little shit so they can throw you think, you think, Oh, you think it's like a plat? Like, kind of yeah, like, like, like a plat? Yeah, that is kind of like, I don't know. But we haven't seen anybody that's been in jail with El Chapo, nigga. And niggas be in jail. El Chapo's wife got out. Did she do like three years? And she got out? Hey, yeah, bro. And she was at the club at, 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 at a famous ass, like, corrido club where they be some heavy hitters. She was right there. Would you? Would you? Mm-hmm. They was treating her like. It, nigga, I seen three people in that damn club and she was in a section. I said, what the fuck? Nigga. They just playing music for her. Nigga, but. Bro you, uh, bro, you, bro, you meet a lot of motherfuckers in Mexico, though, for, for the book of Grupo for fun. Bro, I, I'm telling you, bro, I had the homie from Los Velados on my, on my podcast. They did 24 hours for somebody. What? 24 hour Grupo? Standing, Part- playing music? They didn't get no breaks? For the cartel? They, they, they probably, probably, whoever they was going for, it, they had money, 24 hours? <laughs> God damn. God damn. And to them, it's like, hey, let's just all match it. There's four of us fucking move pounds and weights. You got 10, I got 10, you got 10. Fuck it, that's light. Fuck it, right? I'm like, oh my god. I'd be like, uh, two hours. I'm all right. Yeah, <laughs> two hours. But great. yeah, this is. I feel like I feel like that. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this shit. I feel like that should be a setup. I mean, listen, it's it's common sense, bro. Like they they been doing this shit. Shame on you. Don't worry about nothing. Like look at um, look at uh, uh what's his name? Waddy Bolger. Like what he was doing and shit. Like they always find people. They were like, all right, give us your enemies and shit. He was. Bro, he was knocking niggas down, selling drugs, and just giving up his enemies and shit like that. He was who do you called. think? Who do you think is the biggest drug lord ever? of all time? Of all time, nigga, gotta be fucking Pablo Escobar. Really? You, you yes, Pablo nigga. Escobar? We finna Google this shit. If it I ain't Pablo, think- it's El Chapo. It's it's, it's either of them two. All time, I think Probably they just Pablo was most Escobar, famous, bro. Huh? It ain't gonna be all time. I think though, I think Chapo might be number one. What about Al Capone? Yeah, oh, oh, Chapo's oh, number Chapo. one. Yeah, Damn. Chapo's number one. Go to number two. It's probably Pablo, and then it's probably Al Capone after him. Yeah. Of all time. But that, that, they, they, that shit was more bootlegging alcohol and shit, bro. The Prohibition era and shit. Al Capone. No. They wasn't. That was Capone different. wasn't getting bread. No, they was getting bread, but not like, not like. I didn't ever say no. Chopper was making like a million. A hey, no, even though a million, like, he was making like a million. No, just look up how much uh, Pablo Escobar was worth. Even though Bro, they still fighting his money. Exactly. <laughs> and I got money all over. Hey, look, even though these the drug dealer shit was tight, though, I, I like I, one of my favorite movies to this day still is Casino, dog. 30 billion. Oh my god. That worth for 30 billion. Now look up right. look up El Chapo. 30 billion? Yes, nigga. Actually, that nigga was burying money all over Colombia, nigga. 
Yeah. Nigga, they still, like you said, they still finding fucking money, bro. People turn it in. Nigga was just burying that just, shit all over Why wouldn't I just stop, though? <laughs> like, what, what am I still doing? What was El Chapo? Doing this uh, shit. 3.8 3. 8 billion? 3.8 million. Million? Yeah. There's no way it's 3.8 million. It's definitely, it's definitely more for sure. That's probably just what they. You said El Chapo, what? No, nigga. Million, he was making that a day. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga. So, uh, so Pablo Escobar was the biggest then. Pablo Escobar was that thirty was billion, huge. nigga. That was huge, pops. That's yeah. crazy. Y'all didn't like the movie Casino? Classic, shit nigga. What's crazy, wrong with right? you? That motherfucking shit was crazy. Oh, you I'm put like, me on that. I always wanted nigga, to be Casino, you... Goodfellas, bro. I'm like, ooh, I want to do this shit in the mind. And you know what I was watching? The Sopranos the other day. Classic. I, I fuck with it. Rock I fuck with up. it, but I don't like the beginning of it. But I was cool. Shit no, up. keep going. I wanted to be in the mob, Tony. <laughs> no, you don't. Hey, you see? Like, you see the casino? Until they start killing your ass. Hey, them niggas don't play. One I'm slip like, up, we're going with. They told that nigga he about to be a maid man. Bro, everybody was a boss. Just a, he's a maid, Bobby Johnson. Don't shoot him, Bobby Johnson. One slip up, you're bro, out of here, buddy. Everybody was a boss until they fucked up, and then that's there was what I'm another saying. boss. They said, oh, they about, to, like, make you, they about boss? to make you a maid man. Niggas were like, oh, nigga, I'm about to be a maid man. Nigga, beat your ass with bats. Yep. Oh, man, that shit was crazy. What was the all time? Of, damn, I think. Damn, but Bronx Tale was good as fuck. You talking about like mob movie? Mob, mob movie. that shit out. My man. favorite mob movie is uh, Goodfellas. I love oh. Goodfellas. R.I.P. Uh, what's his name? Ray Liotta. Uh, Ray Liotta. I Love never really Ray got into. I never. I never really got into Scarface. Hey, you know Scarface that was, is hey, classic. I just and if you know Scarface. that was that's smush, three hours long though. Yeah. If you know yeah. Bronx Tale, if you know Bronx Tale, you know the, the guy Smush, the dude that was like bad luck in the movie, like he's a fucking ugly old man with the glasses. Yeah. You know he was a real character. So they couldn't find nobody like him. So they were like, why can't so you just, just be yourself? Just, just literally, they got the guy from the street, mm. and that's how they got him. Man. That's some shit. It's like if somebody were to make a story of background fake in China. They have a T Rail, they have a Heather, they have everybody, right? But then they have, for they even have a Mac Wap, the higher Arsenal or something, right? And um, and then they're like, bro, we need a smack, and they're like, we can't find a smack, we just need smack, and then they got smack. And it's like smack, do it. And then they let Smack do it, and he became one of the favorite characters. Yeah. Damn. Then, bro, that's yeah. like, um... That's what happened to... That's like a Bronx Tale, the dude Smush, the one that's bad, like the one they put in the fucking bathroom when, he, when they're rolling dice and shit. He's... They, they, yeah, that was really him. Damn. Nigga, you seen um, Terry Crews said, bro, he was doing security, and nigga asked him to be in training day, bro. Like, nigga, you just be one of the niggas... Be one of the, um, one of the niggas in the hood with us. Oh, that's sick. That's how he got his start. Who? He Terry Crews. He wasn't doing security for the movie. He no, not for the movie. He was doing security. And after work, he went yeah. to go check it out. They were shooting it, and he was in a crowd. Mm -hmm. And he was like, we need two people to be in the And, and he was one of the niggas. One. Oh, that's crazy. Just to crazy. stand in that scene when say, you know, King Kong ain't got shit on me. Mm -hmm. Terry Crews is just standing there. But they you, they picked him. To, oh, that's hard. Yeah. Oh, shit. And then and if that's how he became an actor? Yeah, that's how he... That was his start to get in. Usually they say you, you, you do extra work. And then you know, Man, bro, so Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart first movie I think was Paper Soldiers. Dame Dash put them on. Rockefeller movie, bro. Watch that shit with him being a seagull. Funny ass movie. I think that was his first movie. <laughs> yep, that was his first movie, and then his first professional soul plan. Yep. <clears throat> all right, y'all. I want to do a movie. Do one. Come on. We all got to do it. We got a red camera. <laughs> yeah, we got a red. We let's. I, I want to do a movie. Let's do it, homie. Well, we, all we need is a script. We gotta We're going to let somebody see. else write the script. Yeah, I got Because you're going gonna to have every part. The story you're of You're going to make yourself the main <laughs> character. Yeah. You're going to do all that. Yeah, that too. But <laughs> I got Gator on, online. <laughs> and he got the white man online. I mean, think we could do it. Let's do it. What would the story it. be based off? What would you base it off? Just on top of your head right only now. The only thing was is... Let's make you, it about six. only thing was is do you want to do a movie or do, do you want to do a series? A TV show would be nice because then you could sell it a little sell better. Sell it to Tubi. Nah, hell nah. Because a series is like, you know, break it down in six episodes. Tubi buy movies and TV shows, fool. Tubi's owned by Fox. It's not low budget. Huh. It's not low so, budget, yeah, Tubi bro. Tubi is not low budget. But look, let's just say we did like episodes like uh, Vince like Staple. Like, Vin didn't Vince Staple do like four episodes? Like six. Uh, it was six. Six? So like six yeah. Yeah. yeah, that'll be dope. I don't know what it'd be based off of, but I don't want it to be like no. Them six ass. episodes gonna take us about two years. Fuck no, <laughs> bro. Everybody's schedule. Yeah. 
Nigga, nigga we can barely get a fucking what? We Starving episode <laughs> <laughs> a week. And, bro, that, that's being on set for 10 plus hours, dog. You know how Yes. That's not going to take us two years. It, it okay. might. How long? How long? I shoot some quick YouTube shit. How long? Yeah, but we do. You how long did it take to support this? your argument? We yes, about white you, man like, can't real... jump. Didn't take two fucking years. You had one it. scene that said World Star. Yeah, and I already asked him all the shit because I wanted him to direct it. So then, white man can't jump. And then what else? What other movie was you in? Uh, party some shit. House party. House party. Yeah, that shit didn't take. That shit didn't take no two fucking years. That shit was like six <laughs> months. Well, bro, these are people being paid. <laughs> To come to the motherfucking set and do their scenes, bro. Yeah, we gonna do that. We gonna get paid? Yeah. Who gonna pay us? Us? Yeah. Nigga. We, let's think of this idea. We gonna worry about that later. <laughs> All right. We, y'all, want, y'all wanna get in this movie or what? Yeah, yeah do it up. The Friday? 5,000 fucking Friday. Friday. None of them niggas got paid for Friday. But it changed their lives. Sure did. Oh, God. It changed everybody's life, nigga. Relax. How many people was in that motherfucking movie, nigga? Fun Bernie Max. Yeah, fun fact. About eight people were from that movie dead right now. Chris Tucker. Oh, that's crazy. Because Bernie's gone. Ezel <laughs> <laughs> Ezel gone. That's AJ. That's how long ago. He died, Ezel? Yeah, Ezel. Yeah, Pops. Yeah. Pops yeah. gone. Nigga Debo. Bernie yeah. Mac. Damn, Debo Bernie gone. Mac. Yep. Yeah. Damn, bro, I met Debo. That's why I asked for free Paul Loco. He was a good guy, though. <laughs> Only me alone, Ice Cube. He was like, this is mine. Chris Tucker. <laughs> Damn, yeah. that's fucked up, homie. Chris Tucker not dead. No, I'm no, saying the nigga that's alive. alive. Nigga that's alive, man. I'm still alive. So you on your pun shit. Gang of motherfuckers dead. Off. Gang of motherfuckers dead. Yeah. But Dang, no, that movie yeah. was a long ass time ago, but I mean, we can shoot something simple John like that. John Witherspoon. Some dope ass roles and shit. The movie that blows my mind to this day that will be the best actor out of all four of us. <laughs> I mean, you know, they finally put <laughs> Blood In, Blood Out um, on Hulu. Who'll be the best actor, though? Probably the only one that has a sad card. <laughs> Well, he's, he has a bigger role in the movie. Oh, he did a great job in House Party. You, you're forgetting Dave, bro. I'm in two episodes. <laughs> Nigga, he didn't do shit in House Party. No, I said Dave. I got two episodes of Dave. I think it was a mute. I got two scenes. <laughs> definitely a mute. <laughs> Nigga, it was a mine. Hey, go to my scenes from Dave. Nigga, the gas station. Nigga, come on. <laughs> I'm pumping. It's coming up. I'm pumping <laughs> pumpin Gator. It's on YouTube. Duno, you still got a movie yeah, coming out. Got I got two man. coming out this year, actually. No, don't show it. They, I, I uh, got the show us. I got the trailers, and I was like, oh, I look good. Damn. Like, oh, they oh. gave you the trailer? How oh, they make you look smaller or something? <laughs> CGI. <laughs> they CGI. Hey, no, hey, pun, believe it. I look bigger shit in it. Hey, pun. Make that nigga buff. But I look big. <laughs> Damn. Damn. I'm excited. The camera I'm excited. put 10 pounds on you. Hey, you think you can play a gangster role in the movie? A gangster role? Yeah. Nah, because then oh, you get man. boxed in. That's why I'm glad I'm both of them. I'm saying, like, if, do you think you could do it? Do you have that much depth? What the fuck you talking about, cuz? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, uh, like, no. There's like the no. one nigga, bro, the nigga named Hector in every movie. <laughs> Oh, that's oh, no, he's actually, he actually getting paid off that shit. Yes, though. but his name is Hector in every movie. From, uh, 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 Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious, all that shit. Put, Bro, look at my IMDb, can I look what it say? <laughs> what did it say? <laughs> look at that. My IMDb. Yo, look at it. No jumper, fresh and fresh fit podcast. No jumper. <laughs> what the fuck? Who 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 the fuck? Fresh and, still, yeah, Fresh and Fist still doing anything? Hell oh, yeah. It might be Duno. Yeah, Duno. It might be Duno. That's funny. Our Fresh and Fist is... They, they do gotta be Duno, right? That's your acting name? Yes. That's your yes. acting name? Daniel, okay. Right, Duno? Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Sancho, Sancho Claus. White man can't jump. White man can't jump. Horchata. Horchata. Horchata with Oat Milk. Horchata with Oat Milk is coming out. All right. Hey, there you go. Bro, your yeah. shit is trash. It, it says it's coming out? Pull up uh, T-Rail. Horchata with Oat Milk is coming out. Pull up T-Rail. T-Rail. Oh, yeah, put King T-Rail. <laughs> no, don't put me up. Uh, nothing going to come up. You ain't a white man can't jump? Yeah, yeah. It ain't uh, come up. That's... Oh, yeah, pay for your sack shit? Yeah, somebody got to do that for you. <laughs> oh, there you go, girl. <laughs> yeah, that's good. White man can't jump. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that's better than fresh and fit and no joke. Where my MTV <laughs> shit at? Uh, uh, I'm, in a, I'm in a documentary to an AMB, Streets said, of Compton. Where my MTV shit at? My uh, BET shit count, at? You got to look up King T-Rail for that. <laughs> <laughs> Your name was King T-Rail. Yeah, when they say, <laughs> they say he's 22 yeah. right now. Hey, you're a dick, but it was a piece of shit, bro. <laughs> His name was King T-Rail. <laughs> Who the fuck is that, man? <laughs> 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 
Hey. What the fuck? <laughs> that nigga said, why you gonna change your name, bro? Why you gonna take the key off your okay, name? Okay, that's the, I lost that one, okay? I, I lose, I lose. Hey, okay, hold on, go back. What I stand that? on the hill with any of my arguments, but that shit was too funny, dog. He said, why you gonna change your name? <laughs> he, said, he said, why you gonna lose the king? That shit was hilarious, dog. That's the only cast right here. Oh, shit, they ain't put nobody else with a cast member. What for MTV? For King with China. Is it a tiger? <laughs> yeah, that, that nigga took all the credit. That nigga took all he the credit. Every episode. Damn. Damn. Nigga, did you cast the crew of King with Tiger just tiger? Did you get paid for that at all? Hell yeah, nigga. How many, how many episodes did you make? I got paid? stupid that was chili for that two how seasons. How much did you made for that two seasons? Damn, how much no did bullshit. I, how much That's you think money? you made? Nah, nigga, I probably made a hundred. That's good. That's good for being a nigga that just... Running errands and shit. <laughs> nigga, I was damn, I was, that's fucked up because I was damn near the main character. You was damn near the co-main character for sure. I was damn near the main character. I don't know how you could be the main character that's called King of a Tiger, but I never, he didn't I never watched the show. I he didn't want to do it. I never watched it. Because he didn't want to do it, so all the scenes he didn't want to be in, I just do, I had to do it. What? Did you watch the show? Did you watch it? No, I've never seen it. Well, damn. I'm just being honest. People watch it, though. No, I know. Nigga, Where? you have a TV show. <laughs> Definitely. Young, ki young kids watched it. We just don't know. They name. still watch it and they're out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For sure. Some people are looking for King T. Rail. Since to this day. Yeah. No, I watched show. it before. I went to, what, for, for, was it when I first met T. Uh -huh. And I didn't know who he was. Uh -huh. I went to go look up King T. Rail, And the first thing that popped out was him hiring a Jaguar for a Tiger. Uh, what did you think about his acting? Like uh, his. Uh... Well, I mean, he wasn't acting. He was just bossing around a, a white girl. Oh. Right? That was tight. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that girl? Oh. That was his assistant at the time. At the time. Whatever happened to her? Whatever she happened to her? You don't even care, nigga. Why you asking? She got fired. Oh, your shit. I think. Y'all should do a class action lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Damn, I wanted to keep doing that shit. You know how much chili niggas would have had? That was Dang. cool, though. I, I mean, you can always use that, like... Nigga, what, after, you your, after, you your second, episodes, right? after your second season, when it goes to your third season and you start re renegotiating, nigga. You have two up. seasons? You have two seasons. Damn. You nigga, we, we, he was like, I ain't doing a third season. And they was like, you do a third season, you was going to be getting paid like 50 an episode. Nigga, shoot it. Nigga, and it was like, and they was like 50 an episode, nigga, and it was like no less than 12 episodes. So we was trying to do 12, 16 Why oh, you didn't want to shoot episode. no more? But he said he didn't want to go, he didn't want his career to be based around no TV show. He didn't, he didn't want to do I that. Damn, what happened to Lamb, cuz? Lamb, he's still doing his thing. He just had a baby too, man. My nigga Lamb. Shout out Lamb, I remember Lamb. Damn, that store didn't do shit. Was that the new one y'all had open? Yeah, the we had that. That was County? in Orange County, yeah. Yep. I remember y'all yeah, opened that. Why'd you guys open the store in Orange County? Mm. You they, said why? Nigga, that shit was booming shit was back booming then. At the time. Hell yeah. You see that line? No, 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 trust me. I remember Last King booming. That's what it is, all Latinos. Mm -hmm. That shit was booming. Mm -hmm. Damn, that shit was booming. What happened to all the uh, chains and shit you had back in the day, Tiger, Last King's chain? Come on, back. Gone, huh? That one right there, back. that one right there, I gave to Dre that I got on my neck. And then uh, the other ones. I niggas had hella chains, last king chains. I still got oh, it. But the ones I used to wear is only one big real one that came from like Jason the jeweler. It was like a big real, and that shit was like a that shit cost chili. The other ones was fake. We had replicas, but they that all was, looked that was crazy. A, that was a, her right there. Yeah. What was her name? Uh, I forgot that bitch name. Really, actually, damn. I remember her. I remember her being around. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My back. Damn. Yeah, man. That was, that was a great time for you, brother. Nah, that was great times. And then, great. Shit with and and then here comes the nigga that took your place. Oh. <laughs> here comes the guy who took your place. That nigga got Cher. He won. It could have been you and Cher. Yeah, that's that's great. Damn, man. imagine T Rail and Cher. This was mm -hmm. early mm -hmm. size right here, cuz. Super crippled couple right there. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Sure, he, he came in and took my boy. It's only place, it's, he he like man, this nigga accept the gay shit, so I'm gonna fuck around. Oh, him. Wow. Nah, I'm just playing with you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Whoa. I'm just fucking with you, T. Raw. My bad. He gonna Whoa. say we trolling again and all that old oh, shit. Hey, y'all okay. niggas be trolling me and all the shit. Oh well. I my, oh, Catherine. You're a dick. <laughs> 
That's her name. I ain't seen her in a minute. Nigga, like five, six years. Catherine. Catherine. That was cold. That house right there used to boom. Yeah, man. What a <laughs> fucking time, huh? Up, fool. Damn. Yeah, man. Shame on y'all, but we finna end this year, you know what I mean? <laughs> shame on you. Well, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And shame on that, man. We need a TV show, a movie, or something. Uh, make sure y'all comment down below. We just had a crazy debate. Um, Duno and yeah. T-Rail, who won the battle today? Who won the battle? Okay, yeah. Who won the battle? Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? We should pin that comment once this come out. Who won the battle? And then make sure y'all comment down below who is five young guys down there who knows about hip-hop and really indulges in hip-hop for, for our culture. At and a high level. At a high level, and especially, you know what I'm saying, so we can definitely promote them because they probably, you know, probably need to be highlighted. Some probably don't need to be highlighted. But, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We definitely want to know. I definitely want to know so I can come back Monday and win this debate. But, um, yeah, y'all, you feel me? That's, that's it. Um, every Wednesday, 4 p.m., make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Make sure y'all like this video one time, man. Get this video a big thumbs up, you know what I mean? And go watch all of our streams and vlogs, man. We got too much shit to name, Yo. you know what I'm saying? We, oh, yeah. Yeah. we go, man. Swag Don't 2 episode 2 is almost done. Trev is almost finished with it. Oh, Swag 2? Okay, yeah. It's okay. almost uh, done. That's his only performance just dropped yesterday, man. Y'all yeah. tune in. Go check that out, G Perico. I'm going to drop movie reviews tomorrow on Community, too. Yeah. You? Uh -huh. Oh, we just shot a vlog for Cinco de Mayo. Cinco oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I shot a vlog with Ben for Cinco de Mayo for the for Femininity World. And, um, yeah, we're doing it up. Yeah. Yes, sir. You know what I just thought about? I'm not here next week to argue with you. No? I'm on the road with Little Weirdo. Damn. Oh, yeah, to yeah, you for yeah. that. I'm on the road with Little Weirdo and them. So if you want to go get tickets to the La Familia tour, me, Little Weirdo, Little Marvel, 22 G Fe, Seti Smack, a gang of us, I'm going to be in. Oh, Smack on too? Uh, Seti Smack. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh. It, it's, I'm going to be in. Uh, Seattle, Washington, May 16th, Salem, Oregon, May 17th, New Mexico, Albuquerque, May 18th, and Phoenix, Arizona, May 19th. Nice. And shout out to Smack. He was here. He good just job, wasn't man. feeling good. He came, though. Yeah, he For the record. He was get on him in the comments. He was here. Yeah, he was here. His head was hurting and shit. He had to get the fuck up out yeah. of here. But uh, shout out to him, man. And yeah, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Fig Community World. This is what we doing. Don't worry about nothing. We see y'all next week. Bow. Bow.